right, what up? What's popping? What's the deal? What is good? It's your boy, Mr. Locario. The bad boy of the dating game. What's good? All right, let me make sure this shit is working correctly because some this shit always saying some bullshit. But I'm looking at my shit now. It's saying it's going through not smooth, but we going we gonna to get it smooth. Cause we got it. We got to get this game popping. What up? Who's in the chat room? Darrell S. Can we drive? Alex. Alex was good. T. Williams. Tony Brown. The Geek Surgeon. Greg John. Mako. What's going on? Resilient S. D. K. Max. J. International. Tony I. What's good, bro? So before we get into all that, remember make sure you guys get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day ebook, hard copy, and audiobook. Make sure you guys get your copy today. You feel what I'm saying? Make that shit pop off. You understand? So make sure you guys get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. What up, Joe Blast in the building? Matt Nando, KP, KP Max, M Fresh, Live Fabulous, Chief Wildfire, Zeus Flippy. What's good? What is good, people? Hold on, let me make sure. My my Skype settings is right and all that real quick. Hold on, hold on. Okay, the Skype settings are good. Let me just lower this shit real quick. Yeah, so <clears throat> what up, James Bunn was popping. Jermaine Jones in the building. So yeah, today I'm gonna be talking about how focusing on bullshit is gonna make you lose in a game. Alright? So for this video, we we you know. We're going we're gonna to focus on the bullshit so I can tell you why you shouldn't be focusing on the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So so just for right now, you understand? I, I want to, you know, explain some things to you guys, right? So what do I mean by focusing on bullshit? What I mean is, is that when you want to get something accomplished in this game, when you want to make something happen when you want to make things go down when you want to accomplish some goals you know that could be you trying to get some money you trying to get some girls you trying to you know achieve any type of goals you want if you're focusing on bullshit you're gonna lose right and what you have to understand is is that there's a lot of bullshit out here in the game that's going to distract you from focusing on what you need to focus on in order to get to the goal you want, right? And you know, it's funny because I see a lot of this on YouTube where guys are trying to learn game, but instead of learning game, they're focusing on bullshit. You understand? And so in order for you to actually, you know, succeed in the game and learn game and get to the point where you're actually making shit happen, right? Right? You need to make sure that you have laser focus on what you're trying to do and cut out all the bullshit. And so, for example, I'll give you a quick example. Like, you know, if you're trying to, you know, make shit happen with women, right? A lot of dudes, what a lot of guys are focusing on, and I, I see this on the internet a lot. A lot of guys are focusing on other dudes. Focusing on other men. What do I mean by focusing on other men? So, you know... You, you try to learn game, you try to learn how to make shit pop with, with um with girls and, and you know make shit happen, but you're focused on what another guy's doing. You understand? You're focused on what this other guy is taller than you, or this other guy you think is better looking than you, or this other guy has more money than you. That's you focusing on bullshit. You understand? That's that's the bullshit. So you have to stop focusing on that bullshit in order for you to, you know, get shit going for you. But see, if you're focusing on this other guy, you're not focusing on yourself. You have to focus back on you. What do you need to do to get these women? You understand? What do you need to do to get the woman? Don't worry about what this guy is doing over here. Or what this other guy is doing over there. What do you need to do to get the girls? And so you got too many guys that focus on the bullshit. They're focusing on, oh, well, this this other guy, you know, he's getting girls because he's good looking. And I'm not getting girls because I'm not good. It's bullshit. See, when you're focusing on that, you don't put focus on you. And therefore, you don't get better. 
Jermaine Jones, you said low self, low uh, self esteem people always focus on others. Real talk. Real talk. See, losers focus on winners. Winners focus on winning. Okay? Losers focus on winners. Winners focus on winning. You understand? So, what losers do is that they'll focus on someone who's winning, right? And they'll talk shit <laughs> about the person that's winning. You see what I'm saying? So instead of that loser trying to focus on winning himself or to put himself in a position to win or do things that's going to make him win, he's focusing on the winner and trying to talk shit about that guy. So it's one thing if you're focusing on the winner because you're studying that winner to try to see how to how you can also win. But if you are focusing on a winner and you're talking shit about the winner, that makes you a loser. You understand? Because you're focusing on the wrong shit. So that that's the thing that that guy's got to understand. And so your your game is going to be at a, a a a higher level when you stop focusing on bullshit. Because the bullshit is there to distract you from actually growing, from actually succeeding, from, you know, uh getting from point A to point B. It's there to distract you. You feel what I'm saying? Now another another thing that you you know, you got to stop focusing on, right? Shout out to my dude K Zagging in the building. What's popping, bro? You say haters are looking at your back while you cross the finish line ahead of them. Exactly. Real talk. Real talk. Now, another thing that's some bullshit that you shouldn't focus on is women who are on some bullshit. Women who are whack. You understand what I'm saying? So a lot of times guys spend so much time focusing on women who are on some bullshit. And so they'll say, you know, yeah, I'm trying to get with this girl. She's been flaky. I've been, I was talking to this girl at my school and she's acting weird. You know, I was trying to holler at this girl at the bar, but she was giving me one word answers and, you know, this and this and that. And I'm just like, stop focusing on that. You understand? Let that shit be what it's going to be. And keep that shit pushing. That's it. But see, when you focus so much on... Because, you know, I, I see guys in the comments, they'll be like, Oh, you know, I, I don't understand because I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, get these girls. And all, all of these girls want is money and, 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 you know, and guys with status and all this other stuff. And I'm like, well, you're focusing on the women who just want dudes with that money. That's why you're seeing that. That's why you're engaging with that. Because you're focusing on that. You understand? So when I'm out here, I can see when a girl wants just to fuck with a dude because he got money or whatever, whatever. I just don't focus on him. I don't pay him no attention. You understand? If I'm talking to a girl and I find out she's like that, I keep this shit pushing. I say, have a nice night. Good night. I'm out. And I talk to another girl who's going to cooperate. You understand? Just based off the fact that I'm spitting that heavy, heavy fucking game. But I'm not focused on the other chick who is on some bullshit, the other chick who's being flaky, the other chick. So if a chick flakes, all right, cool, you're done. I'm not focusing on it. I'm not going to be thinking about her all day. I'm not going to be upset and pissed off and kicking down chairs and getting all, you know, flipping over tables. You understand what I'm saying? You understand? You got to be good with all of that shit. You got to say, listen. This shit is going to happen. This shit is something that is happening. And I accept that these are the things that's going to happen. But I'm not focusing on that. I'm focusing on winning. So what do I have to do to win? Right? So the thing is this. if Let's say, for example, if you're focusing on a chick that's flaky or you're making it a big deal about a chick flaking on you or you're cursing her out or you're, you're being all butthurt about it and you're upset. 
that makes you a loser. You understand? Because you are engaging in loser behavior. You understand? Because a chick being extremely flaky and being on some bullshit, that makes her a loser. So if you are engaging in that behavior, meaning you're focusing on it, meaning you're giving it energy, that also makes you a loser. You see what I'm saying? You need to be able to sidestep that. You need to be able to let it pass. So like if you're talking to a girl and let's say she's rude or has a bitchy attitude and you start going back and forth with her, right? That makes you a loser because you're engaging in loser activity. You understand? So this is what I'm saying where if you're focusing on that, right? You're going to lose in this game. You're going to be that loser because you're focusing on that bullshit. You understand? So this is why, you know, on this channel, I focus on the game. I focus on how do you improve your game? How do you step it up? How do you become the best version of yourself? How do you be that dude? You understand? That's what it's focused on. You understand? Every month, I drop a new bad boy membership program. Why? Because I'm focused. See, what I want you guys to understand is, is that it's not easy to come up with the bad boy membership programs. It's not easy. And the reason why it's not easy is because every month I'm coming up with new ideas. And sometimes I get, you know, people on the bad boy membership who send me ideas and thank you guys for that. But I get, you know, I'm, I'm like, okay, how am I going to break these things down in a way that most people will be able to understand it? And be consistent with this and drop it every time. No matter if I feel like it or don't feel like it. No matter if I'm sick. You understand? I remember one day I was editing a bad boy membership program and I was sick. I had a fucking headache, fever, all that shit. But I had to stay focused. You understand? And so you're not able to do certain things. Right? If you don't have that focus, if you if you're if you're being distracted by bullshit. You understand? Okay, Zach, you say you have to be creative and studious to drop new fresh content. Real talk. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? And so what a lot of people don't know is this is that I've been doing what I'm doing since 2008 that's 10 years you know we're in 2019 so it's about to be 11 years you understand so i've been on youtube since 2008 i've had other channels that got taken down but i've been doing this since 2008 so on my channel now i got over 2500 videos my other channels that got taken down Right, I had at least, I remember one of my other channels, I had at least like, maybe like a thousand videos before it got taken down. So, if I have like 3,500 to damn near 4,000 videos, that takes focus. You see what I'm saying? So when you guys are interacting with women, you're trying to get money, you're trying to, uh, you know, build a business, whatever it is. You got to stay focused. And if you're focusing on bullshit, right, you're not going to get to the place you need to be, right? Now, another thing that, you know, some bullshit that I noticed that dudes are focusing on is there's a lot of, there's a lot of people um, here on this internet thing that love focusing on bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? So meaning that I see a lot of things on message boards. I see a lot of things in comments. I see a lot of things where people are, you know, like saying a whole bunch of bullshit, trying to start shit. And I'm like, bruh, focus on the game. You feel what I'm saying? Focus on the game. Because what you have to understand is this. 
is that the content I put out is to help people. You understand what I'm saying? To help you get focused on the game. This is why you have all the content here. So if you, when you want to lock in, you watch the videos, you want to upgrade your shit, you get the bad boy membership, you get the book, whatever it is. But it has to be focused. I'm trying to tell you guys this. You understand? I went from, uh, you know, having zero money. You understand what I'm saying? In the bank. Not, well, it, not, it wasn't really zero. It was probably like $75 in the bank. Living at home with my mother when I was 27. Sharing a room with my younger brother. You understand? I think he was maybe 24 at the time. Right? With seven, and I had $75 in my, in my bank account. This was around the time I started the Mr. Locario stuff. Living at home with my mother. I wish I, I, I think I have a few, a few older videos that when I first, first did shit online. But what I'm saying is this is 10 years of focus. Right? And what you got to understand is that whatever, whatever you're doing there's going to be a lot of things that's going to try to take you off your focus of what you're trying to do. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to understand that is that if you actually want to get success, right? You got to stay focused on what matters and don't focus on the bullshit. You see what I'm saying? There's too much shit out there. I'm telling you, there's too much shit that's going to distract you. It's easy to get distracted. You understand? Because I get I get people trying to send me shit distracting me like and 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 let me say this right now if because I get emails about this type of shit you know uh, periodically where dudes just send me links um, of of you know people talking about me and stuff I'm telling you guys right now if you see anybody talking about me don't send me that shit. You understand what I'm saying? Please do not send me that shit. Guess what I want you guys to send me? I want you guys to send me questions about what's happening in your life that you need help with in the game. That's all the only questions I, I want you to send me. That's the only thing I want you to email me. If it's not about that, don't send me that because everything else is a distraction. You see what I'm saying? Don't send me any, any goofy shit, please. Because what you guys got to understand is this, when we talk about focus, is that, you know, like when, 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 when a person says, I'm going on a diet, or a person starts eating healthy, and they stop, let's say, smoking or drinking, you understand, to keep their body healthy? Do you understand that if you keep putting bullshit in your mind, that's going to fuck up your mind the same way cigarettes, drugs... Uh, bad food will fuck up your body. You see what I'm saying? Oh, let me call let me let me take my, my dude. Yo, what's popping, bro? Yeah. Oh shit, is Miles Cunningham in the building? What's going on, Miles? What's good, nigga? What's popping, bro? <laughs> happy, happy, happy Friday. Exactly. Happy Friday. Exactly. So yeah, man. Yo. So, so I, you know, I was talking about cats focusing on the things they need to focus on and not focusing on the bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? Back. Because, Back. because I was talking about, you know, dudes focusing on other dudes in the game, you know, wondering why these other cats is getting it popping and how come they not getting it popping. I'm like, stop focusing on that. I'm saying stop focusing on whack-ass women who ain't really doing nothing right. for you. Stop focusing on the goofy shit on the internet. Because I was saying that. Dudes be sending me emails and links and messages about people talking shit. And I'm saying, don't send me none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like right. I'm saying, on this channel, we focus on the game. You understand? Exactly. Period. Exactly. That's it. Exactly. Like, like, uh, like me, me and Miles didn't get into this to, to, you know, just on some, like, player and around shit. We don't play around with this shit. You see what I'm saying? Right. So you got to right. understand that. We, when we talk about the truth is inside you... The the, the, the the name of our company is called ITAX Media. ITAX, mm. ITAX stands for I Think All Kinds of Kids Succeed. Because me and Miles, we came up with that shit when we were teenagers. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
So we, we, we take this shit seriously. You see what I'm saying? Right. So right. I want you guys to understand that. Like, you know, people got, we can have fun and do all that and, and have fun with it. But understand that there has to be that focus. The only, the only right. reason why y'all are listening to me and Miles right now is, me, is because me and Miles had laser focus. You right. see what I'm saying? That's it. Right. That's it. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I just, yo, I, I just came from a gig just now, mm-hmm. a fucking cor- a corporate gig, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, I, I, just, I just finished getting the bag, you mm-hmm. feel me, right. I just finished getting the bag, nigga, mm-hmm. you feel me, exactly, exactly, and, 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 and bust out, bust out, finished early, mm-hmm. right, mm-hmm. And, it, and instead of just, instead of just packing my shit up because we finished early, I told the boss of the company, I was like, listen, Get some of your employees to come say some shit for the camera, mm-hmm. and I can clip some videos for you for social media. Mm-hmm. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, with the with the with the extra time that we had. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. And he was he was all for that shit, and he was like, "Yo, thank you so much, man. You the man, man. I really appreciate that." Mm-hmm. Blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. Right? Because another nigga who ain't focused would have just been like, "Oh shit, uh, we were supposed to be here till four, but we we finished up at one thirty. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Exactly I'm right. Gonna, I'm about to go. You feel me? Right, right. Well, but why did I? Why did I do that though? Why did I do that? Because I'm I'm, I'm about what I'm about. Like mm-hmm. my purpose. My purpose is that, like you said, we came up with this the idea. I think all kinds of kids succeed from from young. Our whole our whole joint is to benefit people. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. You don't you don't you don't fucking you don't fucking show value. By not validating other people because you're scared. Exactly. You exactly. You show value. You show value based on your purpose and, and what you got to, to benefit people with. You mm-hmm. understand? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's what that's what niggas do. We we got the game. My, my man Lucario was out in these streets managing these holes and putting you on the game. Exactly. Daily. Exactly. And you see, and you know, and, and you know, and you know, this is funny. I'm I'm, I'm glad you brought that out about. How you 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 help other people, and you validate them and bring them up. Because if you guys notice, if you guys notice, notice on my channel, right? I I I interview other people, other coaches, and other people who's about the game, and put them on my channel. You see what I'm saying? Right. And so, right. and, and and these are people who 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 may have less numbers than me. So I'm not looking at it like, oh, I gotta put this person on. I'm not gonna put you on because. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? Shout out to my dude, K Zagan 20. K Zagan 20 has heavy game. So right. I put up a whole damn video he he put up the other day on, on this channel because I said, yo, dudes need to hear this shit. Because right. we're about it's, about... it's about it's about what dudes need to hear. Exactly. About, oh, well, K Zagan is, he's at this level mm-hmm. and he's not on my level. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to put him on my channel. Right. Right. It's about the fucking game. Like, it's exactly. about the idea. Exactly. It's about the benefit. Mm-hmm. It's about what. It's about the truth. It's about what's really good. Mm-hmm. You understand? Let mm-hmm. me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It's enough. It's enough for you, faggot boy. Fuck niggas. <laughs> it's enough. It's enough for y'all niggas, faggot boy. Faggot boy. Fuck niggas on YouTube. Mm-hmm. That if we wanted to be on that shit. We can fucking have a have a fucking live stream podcast every day, mm-hmm. all day, twenty four hours, mm-hmm. and get our niggas if we wanted to. Mm-hmm. You understand? It's crazy. Because we don't we don't we don't got no nine to five. This is what we do. Right, you know right, I mean? exactly. So if we wanted to, if we wanted to, we could get at y'all fuck niggas. Okay, <laughs> if we wanted to, we can get at y'all. Fuck Who's worried about us? We can get at y'all if we wanted to, but that's not what we're about. You faggot, fuck niggas. You understand? I just Yo. want to put that out there real quick. Miles, Ma- about you about to get niggas. you about to get us flagged heavy. <laughs>
not no fucking street shit or mm. no gangster shit. Y'all niggas is fucking Loki. That's my word. You understand? Because y'all niggas look at this YouTube shit and y'all think y'all mm. know where niggas is from. Y'all mm. think, think y'all know, you, you think you know who we know. Mm. You think you think we don't we don't know niggas that can come see niggas. Like you think you think that just because niggas is talking about, oh, I think all kinds of kids succeed and the truth is inside you, mm -hmm. that niggas, that niggas is on some fucking, is, is on some fucking uh, 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 lame nigga shit. Mm -hmm. You understand? But the point of the matter is, that's not the truth. That's not the truth for us. You understand? Mm -hmm. But if we wanted to, bro, we can, we can get at y'all fuck niggas. Don't, don't get it twisted, but enough of that. Enough of that. Mm -hmm. All I'm trying to say, all I'm trying to say to niggas, niggas is, we're not going to get nowhere unless y'all niggas really take value in who you are. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, mm -hmm. the, that's the example. That's the example that we're trying to set for y'all. Mm -hmm. You understand? Where we don't, we don't need, we don't need nobody emailing us about no fuck boy talking about us. Mm -hmm. We don't need, we don't need to hear that shit because it's not going to change anything. Mm -hmm. It's not going to change. It. It's only a waste of time and it's only a waste of your energy. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because what good would we be? If we're not, if we're not, if we're not in our purpose and fucking give me out of game like how we supposed to give you out of game, mm -hmm. you understand? Well, we're no good. We're not being who we actually are. You understand? Real talk. Now, 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 now the truth is, if these other niggas they want to spend all their time worrying about us and talking shit, hey, maybe that's who you truly are. So I gotta respect it and let you continue to do you. Mm -hmm. But over here, over here, we're about the game. We're about that purpose. You understand? We're about we're about that abundance mentality. Mm -hmm. We're about managing managing these hoes and managing ourselves first. You understand? Because because the fact the fact that a lot of these niggas don't even know we've been shout out to the niggas that's been fucking with us since Blog Talk Radio. Mm -hmm. You understand? Right. Shout out to y'all niggas. Shout out to the niggas that's been fucking with us. It's the sexy party show that we were doing in Jersey City. Mm -hmm. You understand? Shout out to those niggas. Shout out to those niggas that know for a fact that none of these other niggas got any factual claims to nothing they saying. Shout out to those niggas. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the niggas that's been with us since day fucking one. Mm -hmm. That know for a fact that these niggas bullshitting. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those who know what I'm talking about know what the fuck I'm talking about. And enough, enough said about that. You understand? But shout out to the day one people that know that niggas been putting in that work. Real talk. Real niggas talk. Even, since niggas even knew how to fucking write an email on Gmail to even get a fucking YouTube account. You understand? Mm -hmm. Facts. Facts. And you know what's crazy? Because I was telling cats, I was like, yo, I was telling dudes like, look, guys got to understand that we've been doing this for a decade. You understand what I'm decade. saying? A decade. So, so... What guys gotta understand is is that the 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 energy that we put out, you understand what I'm saying, is from years of struggle. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I want you guys to understand. Year, cause cause focus is struggle. You understand what I'm saying? It's not easy to focus. That's why I want, and, and, and I'm so serious with this because I look, I I know how it is to be fucked up out here. You understand what I'm saying? And so. I don't want you guys to make the mistake of thinking that you don't have to focus and you could just play around and, you know, yak and goof off all day and get results. It's not going to happen. You see what I'm saying? Right. It's not going to happen. So if right. you, if you look, look, if you actually care about being successful, if you care about actually getting from point A to point B, if you actually care about progressing, you can't play around with this shit. You understand what I'm saying? And so this is why I'm saying that you guys have to be focused on the game. You understand what I'm saying? The game. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? That's exactly. what you got to understand. That's what you gotta got to understand. Got, niggas got time for the game. We ain't got time for other niggas, please. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. We ain't got time for other bitch-ass niggas. We got time for the game, and that's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Right, you right. You understand? Niggas, niggas lead by example. Y'all saw, saw how when that fuck nigga was in... Lucario's face while he was doing his live stream. Mm -hmm. What did Lucario do? Mm -hmm. Lucario was calm and cool mm -hmm. and he just kept beating game. Exactly. 
Exactly. Period. Exactly. You guys can watch the archive of that shit. That was my, and some of y'all saw that already. I saw that. My, my, my old roommate was yakking and acting like a damn fool. You feel what I'm saying? And so that's what I'm talking about. A lot of cats be acting like a damn fool. You understand what I'm saying? And so that's the thing we got we to gotta fo focus on the game. This is what I want you guys to understand. Because understand this. There's a lot of people out there who are distracting you. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. They're distracting mm. you. That's all it is. Yo, you know, you know what? I, you wanna, you, know, you wanna know what another name for for, for distraction is? Entertainment. Exactly. You know what I'm Entertainment. <laughs> hey, and if y'all niggas wanna be entertained, by all means, mm -hmm. but fucking with us, you gonna get the game. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Real talk. And that, and that's that's what that's what we, we you know we we want you guys to understand is that. If you actually want to succeed in this game, you got to be focused. And you can't be focused on the bullshit. You right. can't be focused on the bullshit. And this is what I'm saying. And, and this is the reason why, why I wanted to do this, 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 uh, this video now. Because I'm starting to see more and more bullshit uh, come out and arise. And people are hitting me up. And I'm like, bro, I don't want to hear none of that. You feel what I'm saying? And so that's what I'm saying. And, and so you have to... Like, for example, I remember a long time ago, I was talking about how I don't watch slave movies. You understand? Mm. The, only, the only slave movie that I've watched in years was Birth of a Nation by Nate Parker. And right. the only reason I watched that was because that was about slaves rising up. You see what I'm saying? Right. So understand right. that anything you put into your mind affects you. So when you're focusing mm -hmm. on bullshit, guess what you're going to become? A bullshitter. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So when you focus right. on bullshit, you're going to become a bullshitter. When you focus on loser shit, you're going to become a loser. You understand what I'm saying? This is why I don't focus on that shit. You understand? This is why I don't pay. This is why I told you guys, if if anybody is talking bullshit about me, let it fly. Let it fly. I'm cool with that. You understand? I'm cool with all that. I, I wish all those guys the best who's talking shit about me. And and and, and also, I don't want. I don't want you guys to think that I'm talking about any one person in particular because remember right. I said right. I've been doing this for 10 years so this is right. 10 years of people talking shit I just want exactly. you guys to know exactly. that it's be it's becoming more and more ridiculous to the point where your attention is being warped and I'm seeing it right you see what I'm saying so before right. I was just like whatever but I'm like damn these dudes are really being fooled out here you understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm seeing it. It's crazy. Like, so many cats are being so fooled out here. And so, this is what I'm saying. This is 10 years of people talking shit. Because people always say, oh, well, Mr. Locario, you know, you, you know, uh, uh, you, you didn't say this. Or you, you, you started saying this because of this. I'm like, bruh, I've been saying basically the same shit and adding on shit for 10 years. Me and Miles been saying that shit for 10 years. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Like, so, so understand what you need to focus on. That's gonna get mm. you success. That's that's all we're saying. Because dudes think it's they, they think it's a game out here. And then what happens is is that okay? For example, you know dudes like, um, uh, uh, like uh, what's that dude? Elliot Roger, and he shot up yeah. all those people. And you know yeah. that other incel dude who did a bunch of goofy shit. You understand what I'm saying? Or you got guys out there like crying and wanting to kill themselves because their girl uh, don't like them no more or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Most of those guys weren't focused. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They were on bullshit and their mind was polluted with bullshit. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And so therefore, since their mind is polluted with bullshit, this is why they, they, they don't even understand confidence. This is why they don't understand the value of themselves. This is why they don't understand... Uh, uh, what they could actually achieve and they could actually better themselves. The reason why they don't understand that is because they're focused on bullshit. You understand? Mm. This is what, look, just like when you go to the gym, you have to uh, stay focused, work out, eat right, and maintain that. That's a, that's a huge focus. But guess what? Somebody going to offer you some chocolate cake. Somebody going to tell you, oh, fuck that, don't go to, you know, your, your body's going to tell you, nah, don't go to the gym, bro, just chill here and, and relax. You understand? 
You're gonna you're gonna get you. So what you gotta understand is that all of that bullshit is gonna distract you from the success. You see what I'm saying? And that's what it is, exactly. man. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Exactly. It's crazy, man. I'm like, God yeah, damn. Man. You know? So, I just want to. I just want to tell niggas, man. Like, like you, you just, you know, it's your choice. Mm-hmm. But you gotta choose. You gotta choose. You gotta like. You gotta look at who you are. Value yourself and choose correctly, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at look at who you really are. Value yourself and choose correctly. Does it does it really help you to think about what another nigga doing? Right. You know what I'm Mm-hmm. Does it really help you to worry about what another nigga gotta say? Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Like it, it really, like it really don't matter. Like doing you is the most important thing. Like I saw, I saw a thing uh, with with uh, with uh, um, Game Dash. Mm-hmm. You know that there's this there's this white dude. I forgot his name. He got a weird name, but he be interviewing these motivational speakers and shit. You right, understand? right. And he he just he just did this one with uh Game Dash, and the title of it was. Being you is the coolest thing you could ever do. Mm-hmm. You understand? Know I mean? Mm-hmm. Like that shit is so real. Like, why? Like, why I gotta worry about another cat? Why I gotta worry about what another cat, like, what a kid, another cat is doing? Right. Like, the most important thing that's going on in my life is my life. Exactly. You know I mean? Exactly. Period. Mm-hmm. Like, that's mm-hmm. it. Like, like that's how much I, I I care about who I am, and that's how much I love who I am. That's how much I give a fuck about. My well being and what happens to me. Mm-hmm. All I have to do is come up with ways to be better. Like, right. like yo, that's my fucking word. Like, I'm sitting in the meeting in, in my gig just now, bro, and the, the the boss was wrapping everything up. It was like 1.30. It was mm-hmm. literally 1.30, and I I was paid to be there till 4 o'clock. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Right, and right. It's not like, it, and it's not like I'm an employee of his company where. I don't love doing what I do. I love doing what I do. Right, right, and while right. He was, while he was sitting there wrapping up, my my mind started started turning, and I said to myself, "How can I make an opportunity mm-hmm. to do more of what I love to do in this situation right now?" Exactly. And I said, "And I said, hey, maybe if I could get some of his employees mm-hmm. to tell their story, I could clip some videos, some extra clip videos for him." that he could use for social media. Mm-hmm. You understand? Right. That's, that's literally what I came up with while I was sitting right there. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and and he was about to wrap up the meeting, and I asked him if I could borrow the microphone, and I, and I, and I said it out loud to the, to the, to the whole, because what they do is they have their, they have like a meeting, mm-hmm. and they meet at a place, and they talk about the year and the plan for the next year and all this shit. So I was able to have the whole company listen to me speak at that moment. Right. And, then what, and, and I said, you know, Everybody don't got to do it. You know, it's, it's like extra credit or whatever, but it just would be cool if somebody got to tell your story and explain what... Because the thing is, this is not just a regular company. It's a non-for-profit organization that helps disabled children, mm-hmm. like like kids with, with, with autism or, you know, terrible... Like certain different ailments, mentally or physically. Mm-hmm. They train them and find jobs for these kids. You right, understand? Right, right. And, so, and they... And they keep training them so as they grow into adulthood, they're actually a viable, you know, uh, source in the in the in the workforce. Mm-hmm. You understand? Right. So it's a very re- rewarding job. You understand? So mm-hmm. it's like I'm sitting there thinking how I can do more with my with my camera, with my video work, with my photography. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Right. But that's just that's just me valuing who I am. And what I love to do. Mm-hmm. Because I swear, I could have been like any other person and thought, well, shit, I'm getting paid to be here till 4, but I could leave here at 3. Mm-hmm. Another nigga would leave right away. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm sitting there thinking about what another nigga would do. Right, right, exactly. Exactly. You understand? Exactly. No, I'm thinking about what I would do. Exactly. Like that, that loves to be behind the camera. So I'm coming up with more ways to be behind the camera. Exactly. Facts. And, and, and what happened? And, and, this, what happened? And, and that's the thing they don't understand, man, is that, and then that's what makes you get more shit popping. That's what makes everything blow up. That's what makes everything go in a direction for you to benefit off of what you're doing and to also benefit others. You see what I'm saying? My nigga, 
This, I've been working with this company for the last two years. Mm -hmm. that, you know, I do I do their Christmas party. I do their meetings. I do different fucking um um you know projects that they coming up with. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's a bag. That's a bag every time they fucking call me, B. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because I mean, for those who know how corporate how corporate society works, if you if you got a marketing budget, you got to spend that shit before tax time. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know right, right. So I'm out here. I'm out here getting bags. Simply, me, simply being who I am authentically. You understand exactly, what I'm saying? exactly. And that's, that's what we trying to tell you guys, man. Bro. That's what we trying to tell you guys. Because even look in the chat room. See, this is what I'm talking about. There's still cats in the chat room focusing on goofy shit. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it's 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 you know it's gonna happen. Like, but but see, my dude, my dude, Jumpman Vivo, he said, he said, I don't know why Locario made a, a live about this. Your fans shouldn't be seeing you emotional, right? Now, I'm not emotional. I'm just telling you guys no, what I, is. I'm emotional. Yeah, That's exactly. I'm, Miles is like, fuck. <laughs> Miles is like, I'm emotional. But but this is the reason why I'm even making a live about this. You know why? Because right. when I get emails, this is what you guys are going to understand. I have an email address where people are supposed to send me um, emails about their dating life so I can help them. But you know what guys are right. sending me emails about? They're sending me emails right. about, yo, this guy's talking about you. Yo, this person's talking shit about you. Yo, nigga, I don't care. Stop sending me that shit and stop <laughs> focusing on that. Why do you right. care about somebody talking about me? When I don't even care about somebody talking about me. You understand right. what I'm saying? What are you focused on? You see what I'm saying? And then... And you, should, and you should be asking me questions about your day in life. Exactly. That's all I'm saying. Keep the shit about the fucking shit. This is the problem with a lot of cats out here. You're so easily distracted. And as a man, right. you're not supposed to be that easily distracted. This is why a lot of times you guys are going to get into bullshit situations with women because you're easily distracted. This is why women could, right. could play you, use you for all your attention, use you for all your money because you're easily distracted. You're not focused right. on the fact that this girl is playing you. You understand what I'm right. saying? You're not focused on the fact that you're getting played. This chick is using you for attention. This chick is using you for money because you're easily distracted. You see what I'm saying? The chick do right. some fuck shit. And then she distracts you with her ass, and you're like, oh, well, it's all good. I don't care. Because you're easily distracted. You're not focused. You see what I'm saying? And so, the, the, and the thing is, you know, dudes, dudes just don't understand how important the game is and how it benefits your life. See, a lot of cats, they're out here sad and fucked up because they refuse to focus on what's going to make them get to the next level. Then, right. then what happens is they'll focus on the goofy shit because the goofy shit is making them feel like, you know, it, it, oh, well, I, I just want to focus on the goofy shit because I don't have to actually think. I don't actually have to actually do anything. I can be distracted by the nonsense and then right. not do anything. Yo, let me tell you, it's called, it's, it's called escapism. That's what it's called. Right, right. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Y'all niggas, y'all actually, y'all, you know, I mean, you know, it's, it's life. It's life, life don't life ain't always easy. It's mm -hmm. like cats is looking at the fact that they actually have to put in work to get what they want out of this life. Right, and right. They, and they're like, "Fuck that! I rather I rather be entertained for the moment than actually think about what I gotta do." Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like a nigga. It's like a nigga that gotta do a a, um, a book report or a research paper, and instead of doing that, he, he turned on Netflix. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, but, exactly. But, but but the truth is, homie. That there's a there's a due date for that fucking uh, research paper, bro. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a due date for that book report, nigga. Mm -hmm. And if your ass if your ass is caught slipping on the due date, that's it for you. You understand? Right, right, right. Exactly. Time, time, ain't, time ain't infinite, bro. Mm -hmm. Time is not infinite. Mm -hmm. You understand? So keep that shit in mind. Mm -hmm. Keep that shit in mind. Don't. <clears throat> it, 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 yo, me and me and Lucario been grinding together. For like over fifteen years now, you understand? Right. So, don't think, don't think shit, shit could just. I mean, just because you see a couple niggas pop, pop, seem like they pop overnight, don't think that's how it's going necessarily be for you. Mm -hmm. You gotta stay focused mm -hmm. because again, you can't worry about what happened for a next nigga. You right. Understand? Right. Exactly. You can't worry about because because even that nigga, even that nigga that 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 felt like, oh yeah, you know, I pop, I pop my shit popped off overnight. Trust me. 
when he when he first started in the back of his mind, he didn't know that shit was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. He could only he could only probably talk shit now because it happened. Mm -hmm. But he didn't he didn't know that shit was gonna happen. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. But even even if it happens, you still gotta stay focused. Mm -hmm. Because just because something popped for you right now, don't be it's gonna last forever. So you gotta stay focused and continue on. Real and talk. Just Real like talk. I, again, I use the I use the example. My nigga, I already got the bag for the day. You understand? Mm -hmm. I already got the bag for the day because I don't do no gigs unless I'm paid in full. Mm -hmm. You understand? Right. I'm paid in full days before I even show up to the fucking fight, bro. You understand? But it's not about it's not just about the bread. It's about who you are and the value that you bring, bro. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The value that you bring. Mm -hmm. your, your value your value don't come from lying to bitches or waiting days to text them back. Right, and right. Acting like you a nigga of value and acting in front of your car and your apartment and and your clothes. No, it's like, are you actually doing what you are here to do? Mm -hmm. Are you actually being a person of value? Mm -hmm. Not faking and fronting, you understand? Right, right, exactly, it's, exactly. No, I'm telling y'all, man. Listen, man, we, we, we give a fuck about y'all niggas, bro. Exactly. We give a fuck about every, every ear listening to this now. We care. Mm -hmm. We give a fuck. We give a fuck because... We want everybody to come up. Exactly. You know and we, because we've been, well, so I'm going to say this shit now and, and fucking two, two or three years later, they're going to, they, some nigga going to be like, oh, I came up with that. These niggas, blah, blah, blah. But listen, mm -hmm. there is no competition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is no competition. Mark the, mark the fucking date and time down. Mm -hmm. When, 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 when Mom Cunningham and Mr. Lucario revealed to you, that there is no competition in the game. Mm -hmm. Okay? <laughs> right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Write that shit down so none of y'all don't get it fucked up later on. Mm -hmm. Okay? There's no competition in the game. The only the only thing that, the only challenge is for you to continue to find ways for you to be who you are authentically. Exactly. And then, and then, and then when, you, when you get a chance, when you really get in tune with that and you get a chance to do that, the game starts to, open itself up for you. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? Facts. Because because let me tell you something. Now, the both of that company, if any other nigga, any other video nigga can, or photographer come to him and say, yo, I can offer you a cheaper price than that nigga, you know what you know what that boss the boss of the company gonna tell him? Now nah, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm good. I'm a chip I'm a, I'm gonna stick with my nigga Miles Cunningham. Mm -hmm. You understand? Real talk. Because, Real talk. Because my I've been I've been rocking with Miles for a minute, and he's authentic, and he benefits my company in ways that 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 need more than just a lower price. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Real so talk. Now, at this point, I'm just being me. I'm just doing me, and the game is just opening up. Mm -hmm. The game is just opening up because the both of the company realize how how deep my love for what I do is. Then he starts talking to other companies. Mm -hmm. You understand? Right. Right, real talk. And the, game, and the game just opens up for me because it's just me being me. Mm -hmm. And they just know that, yo, uh, Pavion Photo doesn't mind staying an extra couple of hours to get some more footage. Right. Pavion Photo doesn't mind, you know, uh, uh, waiting on somebody so we can get their shot. You understand? Mm -hmm. And he's not, he's not complaining. He's not angry. Because he just loves doing what he do. Exactly. Period. Exactly. And this, is, and this is where we want to get you guys, man, to the point where you're so focused on you. Like, you know, because it's crazy because even, you know, even in the chat room, you know, because I'm, 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 I'm because I'm, we're going to be focusing, focusing on some bullshit just on this live so we could talk about the bullshit is that, you know, you got cats in there. Um, talking about, oh, you know, Miss Locario, how you, how you, uh, um, gonna allow, you know, your wife to date other guys and mess, you know, and do all that other shit. So again, what are you focusing on? Why are you focused on, you see what I'm saying? Why are you focused on what I'm doing with my chick or the chick I'm dealing with or the women I'm dealing with? You see what I'm saying? Again, how does that help you? Right. You see what I'm saying? That's right. the part. That's the part they don't get. Instead, instead of saying to themselves, "Oh shit, guess what? 
Locario actually has a wife and a girlfriend. So since I'm a smart motherfucker, I'm going to say, whoa, that's dope because he knows how to manage two women. So how about I fo if I'm going to focus on anything, let me focus on that because I'm focusing on the winning. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm right, not focusing right. on the bullshit. I'm focusing on the winning. So what it is is right. I'm focusing on how is this motherfucker winning? And let me learn right. that so it can help me out. You know what's not right. helping you out? Worrying about the fact that my chick is, is, is dealing with somebody else when I'm in an open relationship. That don't help you out. You understand? What helps you out is to be able to say, how am I able to get these you know chicks in rotation if I wanted to? How am I able to be honest with one girl and tell her that I'm seeing another girl? How am I able to have my wife and girlfriend hang out with each other? How am I able to do that? You see what I'm saying? So, you know, that's that's the thing that guys need to focus on. Focus on the winning. Because I said earlier, I said losers focus on winners. Winners focus on winning. You understand what I'm saying? And so that's the thing that dudes got to understand. And so if you're always focused on, oh, what is this person doing? What's that person doing? And all this gossipy, goofy shit, you're not focusing on yourself and you're not getting any better. You're staying in the same place. You feel what I'm saying? And so, you know, the thing is, we got into this shit to help other people. Let me tell you something. Me and Miles, we used to do a show back in the day called Show Off. Now, Show Off was a show where we used to have singers and rappers and musical artists come on the show to perform. You understand? <clears throat> So our thing was, because we were also artists and we was also in the music game, we said, yo, what can we do to help other people come up? Because we know how difficult it can be to come up. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. So when I'm teaching you guys the game, when Miles is teaching you guys the game, the reason why we're teaching you guys the game is because we know how hard it can be to come up in this shit. So right. if we're teaching you this game... It's ridiculous for you to focus on other bullshit when we're letting you know, hey, this is how you're able to actually come up in the game. But in instead of doing that, you would rather focus on bullshit. You see what I'm saying? And so the, the funny part about it is this. <clears throat> Something like YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. YouTube mm -hmm. is, is, you know, it's here and, and people do a lot of like, you know, goofy, funny shit, which has its place. Ain't nothing wrong with being entertained. Ain't nothing wrong with watching goofy ass cat videos. Ain't nothing wrong with watching prank videos and all that other shit. That's cool. But if you're not on the other side of things, actually focusing on bettering you, you're wasting this opportunity that you have here to be able to get this type of information. You understand? 15, 20 years ago, you, you couldn't get the amount of information you're getting right now. And so wasting it on focusing on bullshit you're doing yourself a disservice. And this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. If you really want to, uh, you know, uh, achieve the things you want to achieve, if you want to get out there and get the type of women you want, l let me tell you guys something, man. I've been with some of the most fucking sexiest, most cooperative, uh, fucking delicious women you would ever see in your life. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Chicks, you, you would not be able to keep your eyes off. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Women who, when right. you deal with them, you're just like, yo, like, this is this is crazy. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know that experiences could get this crazy and get this enjoyable and actually fucking be this way. You understand? But you'll never get there if you're focusing on bullshit. This is what I'm trying to tell you guys. You see what I mean? And so we're not here being, you know, emo well, I'm not being emotional. Miles is probably emotional right now. <laughs> you, fucking emotional, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but even, even then, the point is, is that understand that it's, you know, because you guys will complain about, oh, well, women are being flaky. Women are too emotional or women uh, play games, right? But right. who's really playing games now, though? Because... You say you want a chick, you say you want to learn how to get girls, but you focusing on bullshit. Right. You see what I'm saying? 
if you if you're giving you the game and you don't want not taking the game and and doing what you need to do with it, you're the one playing games. You understand what I'm saying? And then therefore, this is why you'll have women play games with you because you weren't focused enough to look at the game that you're supposed to focus on, work on that to better yourself so you can stop getting fucked up out here in the game. You understand? It's, it's, it's really that simple. It's really you know that simple. It you know what it is? It's a part of the whole, you know, emasculated society shit, man. You, oh, yeah. These niggas, these, you niggas is on some Wendy Williams gossip bitch shit. Like, right, right. <laughs> like, that's what they like. like exactly. You know what niggas really like? Like, come on. That's what like, I'm saying. That's what I'm you saying. Like, you, can, you, can learn how to get, you can learn how to get bitches, get money, you know, mm. understand your purpose, evolve as a person, mm. be, and be be more who you are, be more confident, and you, you running around emailing niggas about some other nigga? Like, that's what I'm saying. This is what I'm okay. telling you guys. Again, that's again, please, I beg you, I beg you, do not send me any of that shit, please. That's one. Wait. Two, wait. two, I want you to know that anybody that talks shit about me or Miles, I wish all of those motherfuckers the best. All of them. This is why, this is why I don't really go into talking shit about, because I don't do that. You understand what I'm saying? I'm focused. I'm, f- right. bruh, you got to understand something. Me and Miles is doing some shit that's I don't even think done like like we're we're working on something that I don't even think has ever been done before. You understand? Right. Like I'm not gonna right. announce it now, but we're working on something that I think has actually never been done before. I haven't seen it. You understand? Right. So right. the focus we need is so fucking it, it has to be so laser focused in order to accomplish that goal. You see right. what I'm saying? And so any distractions is only going to slow you down. You see what I'm saying? So the same thing is for you guys. If you're trying to get good with women, any of those distractions are going to only slow you down. You understand? Mm -hmm. That's what you got to understand. The reason why most of you guys aren't where you want to go to is because your distraction, the shit that's distracting you is slowing you down. You haven't practiced being laser focused on the shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, when we tell you guys, yo, you got to go out and talk to, like, 20 chicks a day, 25 chicks a day, how many of you guys are actually doing it? How many of you guys are actually going out and interacting with women? How many of you guys are, you know, because this is the thing. I don't just want you to buy this book. Like, this is how I'm saying to them today. Don't just buy the book. You got to do the shit in the book. This is a how-to book. It's called How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. You understand? So, if you're not going to do what it says in the book or follow the instructions or actually implement it in your game, I, I don't want you to waste your money. I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, please don't buy the book if you're not going to use it in a way that's going to benefit you because it's going to be a waste of your money. You understand what I'm saying? Right. I'd rather you go to Popeye's and buy some chicken wings and whatever and eat that right. shit. That, you understand what I'm saying? Right. But you got to focus on your shit. Why do you why do you think we we make the um the the bad boy membership ninety seven dollars a month? Why do you guys think we do that, right? Because we only want people on it who's going to be laser focused, and you're going to be laser focused because you're investing that much a month. You see what I'm saying? Right. So so that's the thing. So the thing is is that. If you guys are not ready to be at that point, it's 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 just gonna be be harder for you. A lot of times when guys are saying, "Oh, the game is so hard. Why well, I gotta do this? This is this is that way," and blah 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 blah, right? Then what's gonna happen is is that you're gonna stay in the same space. Nothing's gonna work for you. You're gonna keep complaining. You're gonna keep getting distracted. And then then what's gonna happen is when other people are winning. You're going to turn into the loser focusing on the winner and talking shit about that person. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Uh, that's that's uh, what... I, you, you, you know what it is? You know what it is, too? Mm. With, all of this, with all of this, you know, gossiping and shit, mm. it's like a lot of these niggas, they're not, they, they're not even in the game. They're right. Watch, they're just watching it, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, when, like, think about it. Like, when you, when you take the time to email a nigga and talk about, yo... Such and such is talking about you. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, cool, but what are you doing? Like, right? Like you, you just sitting there spectating. Exactly. Like, like you, you supposed to be out there, you know, 
did doing what you do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. like where's, I mean, let's just say, it, like, you know, if you, you're, you're looking at one YouTuber talking shit about another YouTuber. Right, right. right. And, then, and then you have all the shit to say in between. Where's your YouTube channel? Right. You understand? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you, you don't have one. Why? Because you're sitting there worried about two other, two other YouTube YouTubers mm-hmm. who's, who's on their grind doing their thing. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right. So it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, you know, we're talking about the game and this and that, but y'all cats is, is taking yourself out the game. Mm-hmm. Y'all, re- y'all really just spectators. Y'all, y'all want to see a spectacle. Y'all want to see uh, niggas beef and y'all want to see niggas go back and forth. No, we're not about that over here. Mm-hmm. We're not mm-hmm. about that over here. We're about, it, it, like, it, with the game analogy, we're about being effective. We're about making plays. We're about mm-hmm. winning. We're about scoring. We're right. about getting shit done, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, niggas is focused. Like, that's what we're doing over here, man. Mm-hmm. That's what we're doing. Right. And, 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 and like, look, I, I don't, I don't, I gotta, um, I gotta get off, but let me just say, like I said, man, we care about you dudes. Mm-hmm. We don't do this, we don't do this just because it's, it's a bag in it. We do this because it, it, it's authentically who we are. Mm-hmm. You understand? Right. So we don't have no reason to be going back and forth with other people and all of these things and, and beef and blah, blah. Like, none of that shit matters to us. What matters to us is the game because that's who we are. Exactly. You know Facts. That's Facts. who we are. So I, I just want y'all cats to really, like, 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 really look at the game. Look at yourself. Value yourself. And do things that'll, that'll bring more value to who you are. So then, at that point, you could be more valuable to other people. Right. You know mm-hmm. All right. So, yeah. Man, I, happy Friday to everybody. You know, and, you know, Lucario, uh, have, have a good rest of the stream. All right. All right. That's what's up, bro. I'm all at you. All right. All right, man. Peace. 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 But, yeah, man. It's my dude Miles right there. But, real talk, man. That's what I'm saying, man. You guys, y'all got to understand how, how, how real this shit is, man. You, you got to understand how real this shit is. You said if you get the membership, do you get the old programs? Yeah, you get everything. If you join the membership now, you get everything at once. There's like over 60-something programs on there now. You get everything at once. You feel what I'm saying? Yo, what's popping off? Who's this? Yo, it's got juice. What's popping, bro? What's going on? Um, Nothing. Um, I heard the topic you was talking about, the... Uh, mm your book and everything like stay focused mm-hmm. and I've been looking for your book but it's like it seems like my mom hide it from me or something yeah. like that <laughs> wait because, so you so wait you bought the book and then you say your mom's hide it from you yeah because like it's weird because she's like oh why why you uh, want the book so badly because I got studied because I haven't studied for like a month now and I've been looking for it and she was like, oh, it's probably your closet, whatever. I was like, why are you hiding it from me? And she was like, I don't know where it's at. And I know she's fine. She know where it's at. That's hilarious, bro. You got you to gotta, you gotta be more, uh, you know, uh, autonomous you know, with your you shit, know bro. She call it? The, she called it the, uh, the sex book. Right. Oh, like, I started laughing. Like, Yo, tell, you, bro, tell your mom to give you back that book. Tell her to stop playing. Tell her, tell her to stop hiding the game. She's trying to, she's trying to, uh, uh, you know, she don't want you to get that keep, game, bro. Keep me hostage. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But yeah, find that, find that book, or, 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 you know, uh, order another one. I'll send you another one, and you find, you know, you you hide that where you need to hide it. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm gonna look for it right now. All right, all right, bro. I'm gonna, I'm all right, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, all, right. <laughs> all right, I gotta get these Thank other you. calls. All right, bro, I'm all That's hilarious. Oh Lord! So the call number six four six. Dude, it's funny. He says his mom's is hiding the book. That's funny. Oh, what is up with this thing? Yo, what's going on? Hey, what's going on, Lucario? What's popping? Who's this? Uh, a Rock A One Six. What's going on, bro? Yeah, nothing much. Nothing much. Man. I've been trying not to get mad looking at your podcast. <laughs> You're, selling, you're trying to sell a false hope, man. Right. You know, trying to, trying to convince them you can win, man. Mm-hmm. It's all about big shout up. Mm-hmm. And that true force moment. <laughs> 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 now nah, that's what happens. A lot of cats is on that, you know? Yeah, no, nah, I'm, just, I'm just playing. Uh, but now nah, I'm going to try to keep the laser focused, man. I'm trying to stay on topic. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm trying to win. You know what I'm saying? And, and for me, 
A win is to get a, a super bad chick, mm-hmm. a 10, that's the missus. Mm-hmm. So if I'm going to be laser, laser focused on that, like, what should I exactly be focused on, like, when I'm out in the game? Right. Well, this is the thing. And I, and I talked about this before. If, you, if you're trying to get, you know, the, the baddest chicks, right, what you need to do is, is that you need to eliminate all of the other women that you could get with. Meaning that you have to you have to put you have to make a, a conscious decision to say, look, I'm only gonna talk to and really interact with um, the, the 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 baddest chicks. Meaning the only chicks you holler at are the the nines and tens. The only girls you match with on Tinder and all of that is the nines and tens. The only girls you have a conversation with to try to get with them are the nines and tens. So what happens is. Is that if you're laser focused on that and you give yourself no outs, because you could you could do it like the the easy way is to give yourself an out, meaning you might you know have like a six on the side you smash. But if you want to if you want to really really focus on it, you don't you you don't have no safety net. All you do is try to get the nines and tens. So now what's gonna happen is is that because you're trying to get them, right? Yes. What's gonna happen is is that you need to. What's gonna happen is because you only can get them, right? It's going to make you focus just on them. So in order for you to get your dick wet, in order for you to date, in order for you to do anything with women, you have to get those girls you think are the nines and tens. So therefore, by default, if you get any woman, those are the ones you're going to get. You see what I'm saying? So you just have to literally eliminate any girls who you think are are not that. So even if, let's say, a a chick who's like a six was, was, was choosing you, you have to decline. You have to decline. Even okay. if even if she say, yo, listen, I'll just suck your dick. You ain't gotta do nothing to me. No, I'm good. You gotta decline. Okay. So that's that's how you that's how you jump start it to get into that into that zone. Cause what you want to happen is you want the nines and tens to end up being your comfort zone. You see what I'm saying? Uh, okay. That's what yeah. you want. You feel what I mean? Because right now, okay, okay. right, the ones that aren't the nines and tens are the comfort zone. You want the nines and tens to be your comfort zone. And then what happens is when the nines and tens are your comfort zone, when you see the sixes and sevens, they're gonna look like, you know, you're, you're gonna be like, this is I would you're gonna be like, oh my god, I, I can't even touch this girl. Because it's gonna right, it's gonna okay. feel beneath you because you've elevated your your standard. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you, I feel you. And I, I got one more question. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Okay, well, well okay. Well, it's, it's two questions, but it's mm. the same question. Okay, so if a chick is submissive, that just means she does everything you say, right? You said if a chick is submissive, that means she does everything you say? Yeah, yeah, that's a basic... You know what I'm not necessarily. That's not necessarily. It's not her It's not her doing everything you say, because if you go tell her to rob a bank, you understand what I'm saying? She probably is going to be like, I don't, you know, I don't know about all that. What you talking about? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, okay. um, a, a, a submissive woman, excuse me, a submissive woman is a woman who, in her nature, is to be submissive generally. You understand what I'm saying? So, uh, okay. right. So what happens is, is that it's not necessarily her just listening to everything you say. Because sometimes, if if she, you know, if she's dealing with a guy or just in general around a guy who's on some bullshit, she's not gonna necessarily follow him because he's on some bullshit. Okay. So this is why, you, like, she'll listen to most of the stuff you're gonna say if you are on point with what, with how you are, because then you would always say and to for her to do things that's gonna benefit her. You see what I'm saying? Ah, uh, okay, I got you. Right, right. I got you. So you know, but but just a, a woman that has a submissive nature is already going to have that energy regardless within whatever she's doing with you. So so just her whole energy is gonna be submissive regardless. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. Okay, meaning she generally she generally goes along with what you're saying. Right, right. So she'll generally go along with what you're saying, but also she she because because her because she has that submissive nature, what happens yeah. is is that it it also inspires you to be a better leader, which in turn makes her a better follower. You see what I'm saying? So so the question yeah. you're asking is, you know, is she gonna listen to everything you say? Her submission to you will inspire you to be a better leader, which will give her better things to follow. So therefore, her not following will be lessened because you are the better leader. You understand what I'm saying? 
And it goes so it goes uh, back and yeah. forth. It goes back and forth because her submission inspires you to be a better leader, and because you are a better leader, it's easier for her to follow you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's that's okay. what it is. You see what I mean? Okay. Right. Okay, cool. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right, bro. I appreciate the advice. Definitely appreciate the call, bro. All right. All right. Cool, cool. <clears throat> so the call number six four six four eight one three nine zero one. Jay Reese, you said you're really considering becoming a Bad Boy member because you want access to the material. I'm telling you, jump on at badboymembership.com is the joint. You say you don't like automatic automatic withdrawals, or you could cancel anytime you want. Just cancel anytime you want. Just put a, a note in your phone, and you'll know when it's gonna be it's gonna be withdrawal every uh you know the 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 time you you buy it. So today is the February first. So if you buy it February 1st, it's going to withdraw the next March 1st and then, you know, April 1st. It's shit like that. K. Zag, you said her submitting to you is trusting you. Inconsistent behavior fucks up the trust. Real talk. Real talk. Real talk. And that's the thing. Like, it's like this. The the If I'm teaching game, right, and and you guys study the game and you actually implement it, What's going to happen is you'll come back to me with better questions. And what I mean better questions, or I should say different questions, meaning that, you know, you'll come back to me with a certain type of question that you would have never had unless you actually did the work in the first place. So, for example, you might be saying, like the other day, we had a caller who, who's on a Bad Boy membership, and the questions he was asking me, he said, how do I... Uh, and I got to do a video on this. He was like, how do I manage my time with the women that I'm dealing with? He would have never had that question if he didn't take heed to the information in the membership in order for me to answer that for him, and which I'm going to do in a video soon. So what it is, is that because he's taking heed to the game and asking me different questions on a different level, that makes me a better teacher, which gives more information back to him, which makes him a better student, which makes him upgrade his 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 uh, knowledge and know how to make shit happen. So it's just a back and forth. You see what I'm saying? Yo, what's going on? What's up, this Lucario? What's poppin'? Yeah, this me. What's going on with you, bro? I'm chillin'. Man, uh, I'm tight, man. What's going on? Bro, yeah, yeah, this your man Ray Love, your Royal House, one of the shots out from Chicago, I'm out in Vegas. Alright, what's going on with you, man? He said, yeah, thanks. Love your videos, man. I'm watching see you saying focus on bullshit. Mm -hmm. The game will make you lose. That's true, man, because I feel like when you focus on other people's stuff, mm -hmm. you, you miss the prize of, uh, of, uh, of uh, not focusing on what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Real talk, real talk. And it's, it is really that real simple. Talk. It's really that simple, you know what I'm saying? I be trying to tell these cats, like, you got to keep the focus on you so that you better your shit. And that's all it is. You know what I'm saying? That's right. all it is. What's what, what, what good with like, you, though? No, I hate to cut you off. I'm just saying, and to me, they, and they kind of bitch ass in it because it's like, real cats, you know, who really focus, they ain't got time to be worried with the next man. To me, you acting like a little female mm -hmm. because you up here, it, 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 it's like you a female in the club looking at the other females who got a fatter ass and, a, and better breast than you instead of saying, Hold on, your, 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 your phone, your phone breaking up a little bit. No, my bad, say that, say that again, your phone's breaking up a little bit. My bad, I was saying, to me you sound like a little female when it, when dudes do that to me. It's like you like a female has a better ass or better titties than you mm. and criticizes her. Instead of uh, being a little bitch, instead of you should be a man and be like, well, damn, that should inspire you, man. I need to get my shit together. Right, right, exactly. 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 Oh, be like, hey, man, Lacario, man, I ain't able bruh, man. You know, I ain't intimidated, man. How can I get my shit tight like yours, though? What can I improve on? Being a man about your shit. Mm -hmm. Real talk. And that's what it is, man. I'm telling you, that's what I said. You know, losers focus on winners, winners focus on winning. So it's like, if you're focused on the winning aspect of it, you're going to win. Because you're because all that you're focused on is winning. You're saying, how can I win? How can I get to this point? That's the only thing dudes need to focus on. If you're not focusing on that, you're losing. That's it. That's it, man. But yo, man, I definitely appreciate the call, my brother. You feel me? 
I'm going to holler at you, man. Keep doing your thing, man. Holler. All right, peace, peace. That's what's up, bro. I'm, I'll be trying to tell these cats, man. You got to focus on winning. Losers focus on winners. Winners focus on winning. You understand? You got to choose what you want to be. You see what I'm saying? It's crazy. It is crazy. So it's popping over the chat room. Call the number 646-481-3901. Man. Shit is crazy today. But yeah, I just I really want you guys to, to stay focused on this game, man. Like, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, this shit changes your fucking life. This shit changes your fucking life. See, my, my girl texted me. She's like, I can't wait to see you later with the with the kissy face. I'm telling you, man. I mean, let me, let me, let me you know, uh, 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 let her know I'm on the joint. I'll hit her up later. What's poppin'? Who's this? It was good, man. It's Justin Blaze and shit. All right, what's going on, bro? I don't got much time. I want to keep it quick. One day, uh, uh, <clears throat> situation I had like a big on last week. Mm. I want to. I just want to uh, like. First point I want to make is like this whole. I was like, I was like, you know, like, uh, damn, I kind of fucked it up. But I was just like, you know, this whole experience is like, cold, like the death experience, uh, kind of inspired me to just like throw a star out there on chicks. You know, that's I, I was just gonna say like maybe that. Hold on, your your phone your phone hold on your phone break your phone break your phone breaking up a little bit. Say that again. You said you, you was trying to do what? I said the whole experience. Like you can hear me now. Yeah, I get you a little bit better. Go ahead. I, I like the experience. Like I didn't get the result I wanted, but like the, the fact that you know I got rejected made me like kind of like like turn like turn the like, you know give give more checks. I don't Damn, I, yo, bro, I, I, I cannot hear your phone. It's like it's going in and out, bro. It's going in and out. You know what you do? Uh, uh, you say you in the chat room? Oh, you hear me now? I get you a little bit better, but go, go ahead, go ahead. Anyway, um, I right, hear you good. Go ahead. All right, come anyway. Never, never mind what I was saying before. Uh, anyway, but what happened on the, on the, basically, like, <clears throat> so I feel like I kind of see it to the music because, you know, after a while, I was so going to be like, like, correcting me was like, oh, you know, so like, like, um, like, like kind of like asking me, like, oh, we're asking a certain way or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, say that again, bro. I'm 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 really trying to hear what you're saying, okay, but you, your your phone keep going in and out. But say it real quick in one sentence. What, what are you asking? Uh, I don't know. Like, 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 bro, I'm all right. I'm gonna have to have you call back, bro. If, yeah, your phone, your phone, your phone is going crazy. If you're in the chat room, write it in the chat because I I can't hear nothing. I was trying, bro, but I can't I can't hear nothing. That joint was crazy. You guys got to make sure the phones is uh, decent. You feel what I'm saying? Man. Man, man, man. But yeah, write it in the chat room. Write it in the chat room. If you're in the chat room, write it in the chat room. Yeah, I was trying to hear. I was like, I can't hear it. Shit. Man. He said the Boost Mobile is unpaid. <laughs> uh, he said he got one of the burner pay as you go phones. Man, he said something about rejection. Yeah, I couldn't hear it here too, but, I, but it's not like he had a good question too. But you know, it's, it's the phone lines. I don't know. But um, but yeah, what's popping over in the chat room, people? Call the number 646-481-3901. You feel me? Yo, what's going on? Yo, what's going on? What's poppin'? Who's this? Man, um, I'm off the DMV and everything. Alright, what's good? Shit, man, I just had a title called Focusing. You know, focusing on what you're supposed to be doing and everything. It's a key factor of the game. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very, it's very, uh, it's very hard 
I want to say hard, but would you say it's hard to focus and uh, mm. easy to lose focus? Which one? Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's real easy to lose focus and it's hard to stay focused, and that's why it's very important to stay focused because it's not easy because it's it you it's so easy. It's so easy to get distracted, and right. that distraction actually can fuck up your life. Like, like for example, let's say, okay, let's say something like, for example, um, you was at a bar or something where you just chilling, and and I don't know, somebody like cursed you out or some shit or whatever, right? Yeah. Now, what most people would do is they want to get up in the person's face punched him out, ready to fight, just because some guy cursed him out and walked away. Like, the guy just said some bullshit under his breath and he, walked, he was walking. He wasn't even in your face, he was just walking. And I've seen this happen a lot of times. But a person's uh, ego will get them running up in a dude's face, trying to fight, and all this other craziness that happened. They'll probably end up fighting, he'll get arrested, they'll both get arrested. A bunch of bullshit. Now, imagine one of that, that guy who could have let everything go and not, not focus on that, Let's say he's trying to build a business or he's in school or he, he just had a newborn baby or whatever. Now, because he lost focus of what was important, he got caught up in this bullshit and now he's in some other nonsense that could, you know, ruin his, his life or whatever. Let's say he hit the dude, the dude fell, knocked his head on something. Now he's, you know, he, is, he got manslaughter charges or whatever the fuck it is, right? Yeah. That that decision to, to to lose focus and be distracted by that bullshit caused him to ruin his life and take him off of his focus of what he should have been focused on. And so that right. that's the that's the thing that I'm trying to get guys to understand is that, you know, and, and, and that's just a just an ex extreme example, but even when we talk about here, we talk about women or we talking about, you know, you getting money or whatever it is, you have to have that laser focus because it's it's hard to keep because you got so many distractions, which is why you have to practice being focused. Right. Even when you, even when you're talking to a girl, like the, the the guys who are the best at seducing women, the reason why they're they're good because they know how to focus. They know how to focus on the girl. They can see little reactions uh, when they're when they're having a conversation with her. They they're so focused. They know when to grab her, when to touch her, when to pull her in for the kiss. They know when to pull her out the club. They, they, and the reason why they're doing that is because the, the reason why they can do it so well is because they're focused. They, they're so focused on the interaction being in that moment that they know exactly what to do. The reason why it's hard for a lot of cats to do that is because since they don't have focus, you understand? Yeah. They, um, you know, uh, since they don't have focus, they're they're all over the place and they can't actually really, you know, make shit pop. That's all it is. Alright, um, and one last question. Mm. So, as far as the focus and everything, what you think? Because I noticed with me, man, in the game and everything, the only time I really loved with getting with women mm. is when I focused on getting with women. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. <laughs> so you said, so you said, uh, so you said the only time you 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 got women was when you focused on getting on women, getting with women. Right, right. Well, that's that's and that's what I'm saying. All dudes, cause see, a lot of these cats, the reason why they can't get the girl is because they're focused on other shit. Meaning, they're thinking, oh, well, sh you know, she's not gonna like me because I don't look like this guy. Now you're focused in on this guy. Oh, she's not gonna want me because I don't have money. You're focused on the money. Oh, this ain't gonna happen because uh, they, they're focused on all this bullshit. You understand? So. So that's that's what it is. You understand what I'm saying? And uh, it, it, my dude Marty McFly in the chat, he said you get more women when you don't focus on them. That's not true. <laughs> but I'll, I'll talk about that in a, in in a, in a second. You know what I'm saying? But I, I appreciate oh, I appreciate the call, bro. <laughs> I'm 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 gonna explain that in a minute. But I, I appreciate the call, my dude. All right. All right, man. All right, peace, peace. But let me touch on that in in, in, in for real quick. <clears throat> So Marty McFly, you said you get more women when you don't focus on them. That is not true. Okay? I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to take calls in a second, but I'm going to tell you why real quick. Or, or I should say that's a half truth because it's not really true, true like that. Because you cannot focus on women. Because, For example, a lot of MGTOW dudes aren't focused on women, right? 
but are they getting the women? You see what I'm saying? So the thing is, is that in order to, that's like saying, let's, let's put it like this. Marty, Marty, would this be true? In order, in order to build a business, you shouldn't focus on building a business. Does that make sense? You see what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? So you said, you said, do I, do I think Drake is focused on women? Of course he's focused on women. Why, how you think he got shorty pregnant? He was focused on the chick. You ain't seen them pictures where he was on a date with the girl and all that? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, when you're actually dealing with women, you're literally focusing on a woman. You understand what I'm saying? So that's, so, when you, and, and this is what I want, want you guys to understand. Some of y'all have to understand what certain things mean. When a person says you you get women without focusing on them, what they're literally saying is that this is what they're saying. They're saying that when you're not sweating a chick, when you're not being thirsty, when you're not being needy, that's when you'll get women. But you actually still need to focus on getting women when you're trying to get women. You see what I'm saying? So I don't want you guys to be confused. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying, Marty. What, what are we talking about when we say focus, though? That's what I'm saying. Because in order for you to get anything, you have to focus on it. Because you guys watching this video now is you basically focusing. You're focusing on me and what I'm saying in the dialogue, but the dialogue is about women. So you're focusing on women. But when people say you get more women and you don't focus on them, you have to understand the context of what that means. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. So, so what I'm saying is, if I'm at a bar, right, and I'm just chilling by myself, I'm not focusing on any women, right? How am I going to get the chicks? Even if a chick is choosing me, right? I have to focus to know that she's choosing me. You understand? You just you say you're just saying focus on being your best self and it'll attract more women. Well, that's that's half true. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. The reason why and, and Marty, I'm not I'm not picking on you. I just want I'm glad that you brought that up because I want I want guys to understand because this is what guys think when they when you say you know don't focus on women just focus on getting money you understand what i'm saying or they say you know just just don't don't focus on women just focus on getting this paper or just focus on whatever you're doing you understand what i'm saying so what happens is is that you have guys out there who are not focusing on the skill that it requires to get women, right? I'm going to take calls in a second. They're not focusing on the skill that requires to get women. So when you're not focusing on the skill that requires, right? And you're not focusing on them, that makes it harder for you to get them because women, what's going to happen is they're not, uh, uh, for most dudes, for 95% of guys, most chicks are not going to just gravitate to you off the bat, so that means that you you yourself have to jumpstart a lot of situations. Even when a chick is, let's say, you know, quote unquote, choosing you. If you're in a bar and a chick is checking you out or looking at you, right? First of all, again, you'd have to focus on her or look at her to see that she's looking at you. That's who you're focusing. Then you'd have to go up to her and start talking. You understand what I'm saying? Then you got to focus on what's being said. You got to focus on her body language. You got to focus on seeing if she's, you know, showing positive, uh, you know, responses or not. That's all I'm saying. You see what I mean? That's all I want. That's all I want you guys. So I don't want you guys to get confused with all the shit because shit sounds cool, but you understand what I'm saying? Yo, what's popping? Who's this?
What's going on? Why you sound like you in a hallway somewhere where you got like a sock over your phone, bro? You sound mad cloudy. What's going on? Oh, I don't know. It's you got it on connection. speaker? My, my connection might be a little off. My connection might be a little off. All right, so what's good, bro? But yeah, I wanted to um, know what's your um, take on whether you should, um, whether either online or in person, whether you should... um. Give a girl your number and let her hit you up, or mm. you should ask her her number. Mm. What's your take on that? Did you just what's your take on that overall? With online and in person, right? And in, and in person, and in person, like what about using a business card too as a way, you know, for her to hit you up? Like, mm. what's your take on all of that? Right. Well, the thing is, the thing is, it just all depends on, you know, how much work you want to put in on the front end. And also, too, understanding that when you give a girl your number and she hits you up, right, that's showing interest. So if you get a girl, if you get a girl's number and call her, she may be interested in you, but she may not be interested in you. You understand what I'm saying? If you give a girl your number, usually, most likely, and, and you know, she's interested in you if she calls you. You see what I'm saying? That's really just the difference. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of guys say, a lot of guys think that. You know, they're not going to get it. They Like, I had guys who give girls numbers and they say, well, the girls never call, right? Those are just girls that weren't into them. And even if they got those girls' numbers and tried to hit them up, the girls would probably respond here and there, but nothing was going to happen. You see what I'm saying? And so it doesn't really make a difference. It just makes a difference in how much energy you want to spend doing what you do. Me, I'm at the point where I don't like, I don't like to hit chicks up. I usually give them my number and tell them to call me, and then if they and if they call me, then I you know proceed and make something happen. You see what I mean? But you can still you know once in a blue moon, I just might take a girl's number just you know because of whatever, and um, you know I'll hit her up and then see what's popping. But usually I like to give her my number. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you can use a card, you can use whatever. I've given my girls my you know I've given girls business cards and they'll hit me up. They'll find me on Facebook or something too. They'll friend me. They'll do all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you think you think a business card can only? What, is there any negatives to having a business card and giving it out to a chick you you trying to get at? Is there any like, or you think that's all positive pretty much? Or is there anything you say? No, there ain't no negative. There's no negative. Look, when a chick okay. is feeling you, she feeling you. So all she want to know is how to get at you. That's it. It don't matter okay. if it's on a card. It don't matter if you put it. Tell her to put it in her phone. If she's trying to get at you, she's gonna get at you. If she wants you, you understand that. That's all it is. So okay, and you know this. Mm -hmm. I got two situations with chicks online, right? Mm -hmm. They they agree, they agree to meet up. Uh huh. But but yeah, they agree. Yeah, yeah, we can meet up for a drink, whatever. Like I mentioned, yo, you want to meet up somewhere for a drink? Mm -hmm. They're like, yeah, we we'll meet up for a drink, and then I, I'm like, okay, um, here's my number. Text me so we can so we can like set it up or whatever. So. Mm -hmm. And, I, I, yeah, I did that with, like, a couple of chicks, and, like, yeah, they never hit me back. Like, and it's been, mm -hmm. like, one, it's only been, like, a day or two, and another one's probably been, like, a week, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What's your take and, on that? And you said, and so you you said to them, let's get together, and you said, here's my yeah, number? Yeah, they agreed, yeah, they agreed, yeah, they agreed online, mm -hmm. like, yeah, they agreed online, like, an app called or a Bumble or whatever. Uh -huh. like, they agreed yeah, they agreed online mm. on to me, and then like uh, we had like we went back and forth maybe three or four times, uh -huh. or whatever. And yeah, they agreed to meet up for a drink or whatever. And then and then I said, okay, um, let me give you my number. So pretty much, I could have stayed, I could have stayed on the app, and you know, mm. but I was trying to convert it over to you know mm. phone. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But then when I tried to convert it over to phone, like they're not, yeah, they haven't hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Even though. It, even though they agree, you know what I'm saying? They probably, one, one of the chicks I did put in the extra effort, I did ask her another question, and then she finally responded, mm -hmm. or whatever, but then they still, like, I put out my number, and then, like, yeah, they still haven't hit me, they haven't texted me, I was like, text me so we can set it up, they haven't hit me back. I mean, of course mm -hmm. I could go extra hard and be like, yo, you're not going to go back and say, yo, let me get your number, you know what I'm saying? No, like, no, well, that's the thing, no, 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 no. Look, you did everything right. Those chicks were just not trying to make it happen. It's that simple. Don't you don't you don't have to try to analyze it too much or nothing. You told them to hit you up and they didn't hit you up. You understand? It's as simple as that. If they wanted to see you, they would have hit you up. It's as simple as that. That's it. So don't 
Don't think too much of this shit. I'm telling you. When the girls want to make it happen, because remember, you got to understand something. Women, women just don't want your dick. They also want attention. So understand that you're, you're one of many uh, women, uh, 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 guys, who's trying to holler at this chick. You understand what I'm saying? Gotcha. So, like, for example, I was on a date, and I remember we were, we were, uh, me and the chick was chilling, and she brought me back to her hotel room, right? And what happened was, uh, for some reason, her, her fucking phone, um, there was no wireless connection, so she wasn't getting any, uh, messages from her tinders and all that other stuff. So as soon as we got back to the hotel where she had the, the, you know, the wireless or whatever, her phone just kept ringing, 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 ringing because it was all of the fucking messages she was getting from other dudes. You see what I'm saying? So chicks get a lot of fucking messages from dudes and they can't have sex with them all. So <clears throat> what they'll do is, is they'll still play around with certain guys. So they act like they're interested. They'll say, oh yeah, let's make some happen, all this other shit. You see what I mean? And so yeah. this is why you'll say, okay, yeah, let's do this. And you give the girl your number. She never hits you up. That's just showing that, excuse me, that she's not interested. That's it. If she was interested, she would text you and be like, what's up? And then y'all would continue to do what you got to do. You see what I mean? Got you, got you. Mm -hmm. Now, like, one more question. Like, in general, like, any, any city, like, if a dude goes out and cold approach, let's say... Um, a hundred women, like within like a like a few months or, or a month or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, like in general, what percentage? What percentage should he generally? Cause what percentage of those hundred he hollered at? Do you say he will probably get out to meet up with him for a drink? And then out of those, it's only a small percentage that uh, he'll be able to get to come back to the crib pretty much, right? For the most part, right? Right, right. Well, if it's if it's if it's a dude whose game is terrible. He'll probably get one out of those hundred chicks. You understand what I'm saying? If if his game is average, you understand? He'll get between like, you know, two and ten or something. You understand what I'm saying? And if his game but is two to ten out of a hundred, he pretty much gives his number to um that he could get like about between about close to ten to probably uh, um get back to the crib. Say that, say that again? So um, about 10, he could probably, like, escalate with, um, you know, get sexual. Pretty much is it, like, sex or is, like, yeah, like, so pretty much out of 100, mm -hmm. uh, average dude to get, like, 10 to have sex with him, you said, if he, if he cold approaches 100, that's on, on, on Yeah, average. that's what I'm saying. Like, if a dude, if a dude talks to 100 chicks, right, and his game is super terrible, right, he'll, he'll usually, and sometimes he'll get none, but usually he'll get at least one. You understand what I'm saying? To, to have sex with him, right? Okay. If his game is average, he can get anywhere between, you know, two and ten of those girls to, to, to have sex with him. You understand what I'm saying? If okay. his game is fucking advanced, he can get, like, at least 40 out of those hundred. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. So that's, that's, that's usually, that's... like, the, the range for most, for most guys. Most guys are usually in the average range. Where they get between one and ten percent. You see what I'm saying? The more advanced you get, the more you can, uh, you know, like get more shit popping. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know, that's what it is. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. But I'll let you get to your other callers. But you appreciate the game, my man. That's what's up, bro. I'm gonna let you, man. All right, All right yeah. peace. Later. Yeah, man. So yeah, a lot of yeah, a lot of chicks be online, you know, on some attention shit. Don't 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 get it twisted. All right. Yo, what's going on? Yo, Locario, what's good, man? What's poppin'? Who's this? This Ed from V8, bro. All right, what's going on, bro? I got I got a, I had to tell you this shit. Mm -hmm. So I went home on uh. Unfortunately, on a last-minute trip, I had to uh, fly home to Florida mm -hmm. to uh, go to a funeral, my mom's funeral. Mm -hmm. um, so while I was out there, there was this chick that I uh, went to high school with, mm -hmm. and we had linked up before and stuff like that. We was 
we had, you know, made out in the car and stuff like that, and we was chilling and stuff like that. Mm. So I hit her up. I say, let's get together at the mall. Mm. We do the same shit. We get together at the mall. We sitting in the parking lot. She's sitting in my car. We just chopping it up real quick. Mm. And we started back kissing and stuff like that. And I'm just like, oh, man, this is, this is really popping. Mm. So... I'm like, yo, let's go, let's go to the, I know a hotel close by, so, you know, let's, let's head to this hotel, and then she's like, no, wait, what's up, man, she's like, no, wait, I said, what, what's wrong, she's mm. like, well, it's, it's, it's too soon, mm. <laughs> mm. I said, what, what, what do you mean too soon, like, what, what are we, why are we stopping, she's like, we need more time, <laughs> oh, my God, see, that's, that's, you know, I, when I tell you, I laughed clean in her face. I know that was rude, but I mm. laughed, like, right in her face. Mm. I was like, what do you mean more time? We we just need more time. I, I don't want this to feel like a hookup. Oh, God. <laughs> See, she she had you she had you in that boyfriend category. That's really what it was. You know what I'm saying? Um, I talk, and, and you know the funny thing about it? I, I asked her, like, but that's when I went, you know, that's when I went mode one. Because I felt like, you know what? She's mm. not really... She ain't really understanding, so I'm just mm. like, yo, I'm trying to fuck the shit out of you. That's what I want to do. Right. And she's like, oh, okay, but, you know, I, I just don't want, I said, are you looking for a boyfriend? Mm. No, it's not like that. You know, I just think it's too soon. Like, everything she's communicating communicating to me, mm. bro, is, is basically telling me, I'm not going to fuck you unless you're my boyfriend. Right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and, I, and then you guys got you just got to charge them to the game. That's it, man. Unfortunately, and the worst part about it, she's a good homie, but you know, mm-hmm. it should happen. Mm-hmm. Or you, or you could tell her like, listen, man, look, when, when you know, holler at me when you're ready. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's it. Because you know, a lot of guys, what those, and this is what this is what messes up a lot of dudes in the game. A lot of guys be trying so hard to get every girl. You understand what I'm saying? Like to really, to really get every chick. And I'm like, yo, you're not going to get every chick. You know what I'm saying? It's just not going to happen. Because there's going to be girls you hang out with or you go on a date with. And you're not going to be able to fuck them that day. And then you may never see them again. It just is what it is. You see what I'm saying? No matter, I don't care how advanced you are in the game. I don't care uh, how good you think you are with chicks and you're never going to get every chick you're dealing with. Or, or you, you're never going to get to have sex with every girl you're dealing with. It's not going to happen. You see what I'm saying? It's just part of the game. That's unfortunate. But, yeah, I, I just wanted to, you know, get your thoughts on that real quick. Mm-hmm. Run that across you. Mm-hmm. Real talk, bro. But, yeah, just, you know, just charge that. But, you know, keep keep doing your thing. And you just got to get the, to the other joints that's going to really be about it. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, bro. I'm going to holler at you, man. All right, man. Have a good one. All right, peace. Later. Yeah, man. But, yeah, you got to understand, man. These chicks, they are, you know, you're not going to get all of them. You feel what I'm saying? You are not going to get all those chicks. Like, let me tell you guys something. Sometimes I'll be out with a chick. And I will either, I'll turn down pussy on purpose or I'll put myself in positions where I know I'm not going to get it that day. And I do that on purpose. Meaning I turn down pussy on purpose or I put myself in a position where I know I'm not like, let's say for example, I know I'm going to be busy at a certain time. So I'll meet up with a chick, get a coffee real quick chill with her, talk with her, and then bounce. And the reason why I do that is to mentally remind myself that, you know, it's not going to happen all the time with chicks. Yo, what's going on? What's good, my guy? What's popping? What's the deal? It's big steam, man. It's big steam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on, bro? Yeah, you know, I just want to... Everything good, man. I can't complain. I just want to know how... um, Your thoughts on a certain situation. Mm. And, um... I don't think I heard you talk about this before, but uh, the other day, I was going through my phone, mm-hmm. and it was bored Saturday night. I hit this chick up that I had a number on POF. Mm-hmm. We started talking, and like, first couple lines, she was like, yo, I'm a little busy, I'm gonna hit you back, so whatever. Mm-hmm. 
So I texted her on some, like, I went through a whole bunch of girls on my phone, like, yo, what are you doing tonight? She was mm-hmm. like, nothing. Mm-hmm. And then she been saying, oh, you know, I'd be lonely, I'm trying to cut her, all that. So mm-hmm. anyways, long story short, end up going over there, you know, she got some food, we smoked, whatever. Long story short, I smashed. Right. So, you know, I'm the type, I got this theory, and I want to know how you feel on it. Mm-hmm. How long after you smash a chick do you text them or hit them up? Because me, I like to see, like, okay, I give it a day or two and see, like, yo, is she going to hit me up first? You know, mm-hmm. like, is she going to hit me with the hey, you know, with the five whys? I mm-hmm. just, you know, I just want to know how you feel on that. I've never seen one of your videos. Right. What are your thoughts? Well, usually, usually what I do is when I, when I, when I have sex with a chick, um, what I do usually as you know, and, and, and is is that I would text them the next day, just on some, um, some courtesy shit. Meaning, I'll text them and say, "Yo, had a good time with you last night. Um, you know, let's get together soon." You understand? And so usually I'll do that because um, sometimes they'll text me first. You understand what I'm saying? Like sometimes they'll just text me first the next day, so it's, it's whatever. They'll be like, "Hey, had a good time, whatever," and then I'll be like, "Me too. Let's get together." But if they don't text me first. I'll text them, and the reason why I text them is one because a lot of times when you when you have sex with a chick, you don't know what type of chick you're having sex with. And what I mean is, is that you don't want to end up having sex with a girl who felt weird about having sex with you. You understand what I'm saying? And right. and so and so what happens is is that you don't want to get caught up in no bullshit. So what I do is I text her and I say, "Hey, had a good time." Blah blah blah. Right. And then, so now, usually she'll respond and say, oh, I had a good time too, you know, yeah, let's get together, whatever. So now, I have the text that shows that I didn't do no bullshit with this girl. Like, I didn't force myself on her, I didn't do nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Because she texted me, you see what I'm saying, and said, yeah, I had a good time too. See what I mean? So for all you guys that are scared of the whole Me Too shit and all the sexual harassment shit, you do that so that you get that text back. With her saying, "Oh, I had a good time too." You see what I'm saying? So I usually do that. You know what I'm saying? But as I far, it, right? But as far as like getting back together, right? What I, what I, you know, what I would do is, is I'll probably just hit her up, you know, within within a week. You know what I'm saying? Like, and be like, "Yo, what's going on with you?" And then just keep that, um, you know, keep it at that. You know what I'm saying? Be like, "Yo, let's get together again." Just hit her up the next week, and then that's that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, see, that's why I fuck with you because mm-hmm. that's some real shit you just said because I, my method, I like doing it just to see, you know, mm-hmm. where it's at, but that's a good method that you said because it's crazy nowadays, bro. Right, like, right. You know, it's stuff are real, real crazy. So, like, mm-hmm. yeah, like, I actually, it kind of messed me up mentally because now I'm like, if I don't want to hit her up, I have to. Right, right. Exactly. I'm kind of like, it's kind of <laughs> fucked up, but it makes sense too, you know? Right, right, exactly. So, it's like, you just want to have that little courtesy text. And then after that, you could hit her up, you know, later on and just like, you know, be like, yo, what's, what's going on? What's popping? Because and sometimes, too, what you got to understand is, is that um, some girls, they they just wanted the one night stand. You see what I'm saying? So you got to right. understand that some girls just wanted that thing for that that night. And that was that. So sometimes a chick, she'll she'll respond to you, but she won't respond to you later or you might be trying to get back with her and she don't want to get back with you because she was just doing it for that night. Or what happens is sometimes you meet a chick and she already has a boyfriend. So she's cheating on her boyfriend with you. And so this is why, you know, shit won't pop up. But she doesn't tell you she has a boyfriend. You have no idea you think this girl's single and you might hit her up and she won't re- respond to you. So there's all those other different things chicks will do. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. right. You, know, you definitely got a good, good outlet on that. You know? Right. You see I what I'm saying? That. So yeah, nice, nice. So you know, I just want to know what you, what you thought about that, man. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, you know, just hit him up. You know, the next day on some courtesy courtesy shit, and then just hit him up later that week if you want to, you know, set something up the next time. You feel what I'm saying? Nice, yeah, nice, man. nice. Cool. All right, bro. All right, bro. Keep doing your thing, man. Be soon. All right, peace, peace. All right. Cool, cool. So what's popping in the chat room, people? <clears throat> Man, we got like a million fucking people texting me and shit. Hold on. Let me see something real quick. Let me see something real quick. Okay. Um, My bad, guys. Hold on. All right. 
right, man. So what is good up in here, people? So what is the best response to I don't even know you like that when trying to invite a chick over when you when you first meet them? Well, that's the thing. See, if a girl says to you, I don't really know you like that or, you know, I'm not, you know, this is too fast or any of those any of those type of things. Just understand that. She sees you as the type of guy that she's not all the way sexually attracted to. You understand what I'm saying? Just understand that certain certain phrases and certain things when, when chicks have that sort of like resistance of, oh, it's too soon. You know, I don't I got to get to know. It's all bullshit. You understand? Because that same girl has fucked and sucked the dude who she didn't know that well. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm just understand that that's one thing. Right. So once you understand that. What you got to do is, is that if you want to still fuck with her, you have to quickly, quickly let her know with your words and actions that you're trying to have sex with her. You understand? So she's like, oh, you know, I don't really know you like that. And be like, yeah, well, you know, I don't really know you like that either. But, you know, we're both adults. We're both attracted to each other. So, you know, I think we should just make this happen. Like, let's, let's do this. And if she's still resistant... Be like, okay, cool. Well, listen, this is what we're going to do. Um, you have my number. When you are ready to do this, you know, just give me a call. And you can just end the shit right there. That's it. That's really it. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, because understand, when girls are on that, oh, it's we're moving too fast. Where, you know, let's take it slow. I don't really know you like that. That's all talk for I'm not really sexually attracted to you like that they may like you they may be attracted but they're not really there yet you understand because if they actually because this this is what you got to understand when a woman is sexually attracted to a guy but it, it, she wants to have sex with him and she doesn't really care that she doesn't know him like that why because she's super sexually attracted to him so all she cares about is getting you know fucked by that guy you understand? The reason why she's saying, I don't really know you like that, and blah, 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 is because women, again, women, just like how uh, uh, we put women, women in categories, women put us in categories. So she's not looking at you as the super sexually attractive alpha male that she would fuck now. She's looking at you like, this guy could probably be my boyfriend, help me out with some shit, you know, spend some more money on me, give me some more resources. So she says, I don't know you like that, or let's take it slow, or we're moving too fast, because if she doesn't want to just give you the sex, because just giving you the sex means that you may not call her again, and she needs for you to call her again so that she can use you for your resources, or that, or so that she can try to get into a relationship with you. You see what I'm saying? But the 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 the, the guy who's the alpha male dude who she's sexually attracted to, she doesn't care if he calls her again. Matter of fact, she expects him not to call her again, but she's so attracted to him that she wants to fuck him now. You see what I'm saying? And so what you're going to say is you're going to be on both sides of the spectrum. Some chicks are going to be on some, it's too soon, we got to wait. And some chicks are going to be on some, I want to fuck you now. You understand? So same thing with, with me when I go through shit with chicks. I'll deal with some girls. And they'll be like on some, oh, we got to take a slow shit. And then there's some girls I deal with, they want to fuck me now. The girls who was on some, I want to take a slow shit. I'm like, nah, we ain't doing all that. You understand what I'm saying? But also sometimes your behaviors can cause a girl to see you as the guy she's going to say, I'm going to take it slow with. So you got to also watch out for that. So if you're displaying sort of beta male type of energy, beta male behavior, She's not going to, even if she sort of looked at you as an alpha male guy, because of your behavior, her sexual attraction for you could have lessened in the situation, which made her say, you know what, I'm not really trying to fuck with this guy like that. He, I, I you know, he may be boyfriend material, so I'm not going to fuck him now. You understand what I'm saying? So you got to, you got to be careful of that shit. So, you know.
Joshua, you said you had a chick tell you that a couple days ago and you made it happen 30 minutes later. That's what's up. You know? Man. Man, but yeah, that's what it is. Got to understand the difference between between those things. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand the difference. So yeah, man, the call the number. Oof, excuse me. 646-481-3901. Man. So what is good? But yeah, don't get caught up with all that, you know, oh, I don't know you, I gotta wait, all that dumb shit. So he says, so boyfriend energy is asking chicks out on dates and shit? Um, no, not really. It's just you, like, not giving off, like, sometimes if you're not giving off sexual energy and building sexual tension... That could be seen as boyfriend energy because you're not really, you know, going in on some sex shit. Yo, what's going on? Yo, what up, Loco? What's poppin'? Who's this? It's Yao Dom from the chat. All right, what's going on, bro? Yeah, I just got a quick question, man. Mm -hmm. uh, like, currently, I'm living with someone, mm -hmm. and it's, like, kind of hard to bring females to my spot. So mm -hmm. I just want to know, like, what's the best way to like get a chick to a hotel mm. like a smooth way because you know you know females they not really trying to like like you have a you or something you can't like come out and say it like you know what i mean wait so so you living with you living with a, a chick that you a chick you dating a chick that's your girlfriend nah i'm living with my mom right now oh she's damn like, this yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's on, oh, she's man. on she's like yeah that's crazy. No, look, if you can't bring chicks back to your crib, find out. This is why you got to find out the logistics. You feel what I'm saying? You got to see when you talk to a girl, where does she live? Who does she live with? Right? First ask those questions. Because if she has her own spot, then you just go to her spot. You feel what I'm saying? Um, All right, but what, what if she don't got her own spot, though? Like, mm -hmm. So you're trying to get a hotel. Like, How would you go about doing that? Right, so then yeah, so if, if it's a hotel, if you need, if she don't got her own spot, then you say, yo, listen, um, you know, we can't go back to my crib, we can't go back to your spot, so let's do we, let's go to this hotel spot. Let's, we'll go half on this hotel. That's what you say to her. Be like, look, I'm I'm gonna go half on this hotel. We're gonna go half on this hotel and get it going. That's all you need to say to them. You see what I'm saying? I, I feel you. Because I just feel like, I don't know, if I come up, like, up front and say it, like, you know, females, they'd be, like, they trying to find, like, a way to, like, excuse their hoish behavior, so. But I see that, and that's I'm, what I, that's what I'll be trying to tell you guys. Look, if the girl wants to have sex with you, she's going to have sex with you. That Y'all guys got to, you know what it is? Low key, some of y'all think girls don't either, they, I, I think they don't like sex, or y'all think y'all got to convince them to fuck if a girl wants to fuck, she's going to fuck. That's what I'm saying. So all you need to do is give her, you just got to give her the opportunity to fuck. You understand? That's all you need to do. Like, and so, and so if you're dealing with a chick and like, let's, so for example, you said you'll be all like, so you're talking about if you're on a date uh, with a chick, you say, let's say you go get drinks with a chick. You met a girl off of Tinder and you go and get drinks with her, right? So yeah. now that you're getting drinks with her, Right? You start flirting with her. Let's say y'all start kissing. Right? While y'all are kissing, you stop kissing for a second, look her in the eyes and be like, yo, listen, let's go half on this hotel down the block. That's it. You feel what I'm saying? That's uh, it. That's all you got to do. And if they want to do it, look, I'm, I, I told the story before. I remember one time I was supposed to go on this date with this chick and... Um, what happened was I was supposed to meet, I was supposed to bring her to, to this, to this spot. And then when I got to the spot, I realized that they were doing renovations on the joint. Right. So I got to the spot and she met me at the spot, but we literally got there 
basically at the same time. So as I'm walking up the block to, to stand in front of the spot or go on the spot, I see her coming down. So I, I look and I'm like, oh shit, the spot is is closed or whatever. So I say, yo, this shit is closed. She's like, oh, okay. So she's like, what do you want, what do you want to do? So I jokingly, not even serious, I jokingly said, well, how about we just go to this hotel and I get you naked and fuck the shit out of you, right? <laughs> and then so, and so she was like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm like, I was, and I was joking, you know what I'm saying? But she said, cool. And then so we went to the hotel and I fucked the shit out of her. You see what I'm saying? So if the girl wants to fuck, she's going to fuck. All you got to do is bring it up to where y'all can have sex and make it happen. See what I'm saying? So a lot of, I'm telling you, a lot of guys, like, I get this all the time where dudes, for some reason, they, they feel like they need to, like, you know, uh, uh, like sort of, you know, be soft with talking about sex or having sex or, you know, keeping it a secret or not, you know, saying anything about, like, dudes feel like if they say anything or do anything about sex, the girl is going to act like, oh, you know, I'm not the type of girl or I don't do this. And guess what? Some girls do that. But you know why they do that? And which is what I was talking about earlier. They do that because they didn't want to do you anyway. That's what I'm trying to say. Or they want to do you. But what they want to do is they want to extract attention and resources from you before they do you. You understand? Because what you have to understand is this. Like shout out to my dude, uh, Alan Roger Curry. Chicks want a lot of non-sexual attention. You understand? So what happens is if they can get non-sexual attention out of you, that's what they're going to do. And that's what they do when they say, oh, I don't know. And, and this is too soon. And I'm not really sure. And I got I to gotta get to know you. All that is code word is for I want to be able to extract attention and resources from you. So I, I'm not going to fuck you now. You understand what I'm saying? If the girl is that sexually interested in you or sexually attracted to you, she's going to have sex with you, period. You see what I'm saying? That's all it is. You understand? Yeah, I feel you. And that brings me to my next point with mm -hmm. the whole attention thing. Like, how how many dates would you go on with a chick before, you, like, if she's not, she's playing some games, she ain't trying to smash, like, mm -hmm. how long would you? How much? How many dates would you go on before you charge her to the game? Well, this is the, this is the way I, I I usually tell guys to do it. Um, if you if you if you meet a girl online from online dating, right? Go on one date with her, and then on the second time you meet up with her, that's when you smash. So you tell her to come to your house, or you go to her spot, or you go in a, go to a hotel. You understand what I'm saying? Um, yeah, if, if you meet if you meet a chick at a bar or any other place and you already met her, you don't have to go on no dates. You see what I'm saying? Because you already see how she is in person. You've already met her. You know how she looks. You know her vibe. So you get her number. You hit her up and be like, "Yo, listen, when are you free? Come through to the crib, or let's go get this hotel and when, let's let's hook up." You understand? That's it. You gotta understand again. That's what I'm saying. There's a difference between a woman being sexually attracted to you. And a woman being attracted to you for other things. If at any point you're talking to a girl and trying to get sexual with her or bringing up sex or saying to her, hey, I want to fuck you and do all this other stuff. And if she goes in the opposite direction of saying, oh, I don't know and I'm not the type of girl. All of that means is that she doesn't see you as the guy she wants to have sex with now. That's all that means. All That's all it means. Because look, I've been on both sides of the spectrum. You understand where I'm talking to girls? I'm like, yo, let's let's get it popping. Let's hook up. They'd be like, oh, I don't know. I don't really know you like that yet. And I'm not the type of girl. I'm like, uh-huh, whatever. You know, that's some bullshit. Then there's times where I'm talking to girls and I say, yo, let's 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 hook up. I'm gonna come to your crib or you know, let's go to this hotel. And they're they're just with it. No, no fucking resistance, nothing. Just like, hell yeah, let's do this. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I was at a party one time and I met this girl. Only spoke to her for like 15, 20 minutes. And we were, it was a house party. We went in the bathroom, you understand? And then she was basically sucking me off in the bathroom. You understand? And so 15 minutes, you understand what I'm saying? And so that's what I'm saying. If they want to do it, they're going to do it. You see what I mean? So don't, don't, don't get all caught up with them with their bullshit excuses of, oh, I got to get to know. 
When a woman says, I got to get to know you more, all that means, again, is that she doesn't want to fuck you because she doesn't see you as the guy she wants to fuck now. She wants to waste your time with non-sexual attention. That's it. That's what you got to yeah, I, use, I, use, I usually I usually charge chicks to the game when mm -hmm. they start like, oh, I got to get to know you and shit. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to get your take on that, mm -hmm. like a smooth way to do that. Right. Right. That's 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 all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You gotta. It's it's like this. Like usually when you when you meet chicks, the 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 thought process should be sex first. You understand? And so that doesn't necessarily mean sex on the first date. I'm just saying that it means that there should be sexual chemistry, sexual energy, and actual sex happening sooner than later. It shouldn't be like, oh, I gotta go on three or four dates, and I gotta wait a month, and I gotta no. This girl should be fucking you at least by the second time you see her. At least. You know what I'm saying? None of that three, four, four date type of bullshit. No. At least by the second time, y'all should be fucking. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. Yeah. That's what it is. And yeah, one last, one, last, one last thing, though. Mm. You think, because I know you're in an open relationship. Mm. You think it's possible to, like, have, a, like, let a chick know that you want to mess with other chicks, but her not do nothing like with other guys you think is that's possible mm -hmm. yeah you can do that there's there's people um who have open relationships where the like let's say for example you might have a girl a girlfriend and then you might have like I say you have two girls and you those two girls only have sex with you and but you fuck other girls like you could do that if you want but they have to they would have to actually agree to that and want to do it that way you understand what I'm saying? Um, but I I personally don't like that. You understand what I'm saying? And and I'm gonna tell you why. Because people always ask me, they're like, they're like, oh, you know, are how do you like how are you okay with like your girl being with other dudes and blah 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 and all this other stuff, right? <laughs> and the reason right. why, the reason because I actually I've had girls that I've dated who they told me, like literally girls that I fucked with. That they knew I had, you know, a, a wife or whatever. Um, and they told me, they would say, hey, I only want to have sex with you. And I told them, hell fucking no. I don't want you just fucking me. Like, I'm not going to fuck with you if you just fucking me. And the reason why, the reason why I personally don't like that is because what happens is, is that when you, when you have, and so this is for this situation. So if you have, let's say you got two or three girls, that's only fucking you, Right. And you, but you fucking a whole bunch of other girls, right? Yeah. What happens is, is that you're going to, that's, this is what it is. You're going to get way too much, um, uh, feminine energy coming towards you. You understand what I'm saying? And so what happens okay, is, okay. is that that's, that's extremely draining. You understand what I'm saying? And so, yeah, because she gonna put all her problems on you. Exactly. I get, I get what you mean. Every everything is you. So now, if you date, if you fucking with two or three girls, and they're only fucking with you, that's the 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 the, the emotional energy and the sexual energy. You feel what I'm saying? All coming just towards you. You see what I'm saying? And so, right. and so, so the thing is, it's almost like this. Imagine you, imagine you, like when you look at a business. What do businesses do? Business when you when you see someone running like a company, it's not you. It's usually not just one person. It's like they got a person that you know in the mail room. They got a person working on this floor. They got a person working in accounting. They got a person. They got so many people working on this one thing that's do, handling all this stuff. So you being in a in a open relationship where it's you and like all these all these uh, uh, women, um, you know. And it's just they just fucking with you is the equivalent of someone running a multi million dollar business all on their own. Imagine how stressful that is. You see what I'm saying? Right. So yeah. so just I'm just saying that just so that you understand uh that aspect again. Because usually what happens is most guys don't want the girl fucking with another dude because of egoic reasons. It's an ego thing. You see what I'm saying? Or you, you don't like the fact of hearing <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Your, your girl with another dude or some shit. You understand? 
So word, word. that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of cat a lot of cats ain't they ain't really ready for that type of game though. They still ain't gonna understand that. But I'm just, you know, I just I'm just I'll just put it out that out there for now like that. But I can get even deeper um on that concept anyway. Because also too, another thing is is that um the reason why it's gonna be so much stress on you is because it's not. It's really not natural for you to, because because when you when you you know like you ever you ever hear of people who are hoarders. Yeah, I think I heard it. Right. Again. So those are people who they 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 just collect a whole bunch of shit. Like they have those those documentaries on people yeah, who. Yeah, yeah. Right. So when you're you're trying to hoard chicks, that's what you're that's what you're saying. You see what I mean? And so what happens is is that because you're trying to hoard the chicks, what's going to happen is is that you're you're putting you're putting so much attention and energy just on you which is actually not healthy for you 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 ever you ever wonder why you ever wonder why celebrities a lot of times go crazy and do a whole bunch of drugs and all this other shit the reason why celebrities do that is because it's not natural for a person to have that many people thinking about them and sending them uh psychic energy meaning even when you think about someone, you're sending them energy. So imagine you're Drake. Imagine how many people are thinking about Drake right now. You see what I'm saying? That actually affects him. You see what I mean? This is why you'll have a lot of celebrities and all these other people go crazy because they have so much energy coming at them all the time. Everywhere they go, even when they're just chilling by themselves, there's all this thought energy going to them. So it's the same way if you had three or four girls and they're only fucking with you, you see what I'm saying? then what's going to happen is all that energy is going to come to you. You see what I mean? And so I'm saying right. I don't want all, like, spread that shit around. You feel what I'm saying? All right, like, so all, right, all right, one more, one more. Yeah, right, go ahead, so go ahead. Like, how, how long did it take you to get to that level to be like, mm. I accept, be open to the fact that your girl mm. is messing with other guys? Like, how long did it get take you to get to that mind state? Mm. Well, the thing was is that it, it, it never, that never really bothered me. You understand? And the wow. reason why the reason why it never really bothered me, <clears throat> well, I'll say this. It never it never really bothered me in the sense of how it how I ex how I expected it to. Because what and what I mean is is that the reason why most guys can't understand or 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 deal with that is because they live in illusion. And so what I mean is is that you you any girl you're dealing with any girl you're dealing with, especially if she's not your girlfriend yet or whatever, any girl you're dealing with is already dealing with other men. You understand? And 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 has already dealt with other men. You see what I mean? So so when I realized that, I was like, it, it you know, that's what it is. And on top of that, what I realized is that it doesn't, excuse me, none of that, none of that means anything. You understand? And what I mean by it, it doesn't mean anything is that when I'm dealing with a chick, I'm I'm dealing with that chick and she's dealing with me. So what a lot of guys do is they have a fear that the girl they're dealing with, if they're dealing with other dudes, that that dude is going to take her from him. You understand what I'm saying? Or they think that she's like uh they that she's going to like him more. You understand? And so the perspective that I've realized is that no guy can take a chick from me because I don't have any chick. You understand what I'm saying? Like I don't own any girl. Uh, you see what I mean? Okay. So so it doesn't matter. Like it's like see, and that's the thing that dudes gotta understand. Like there's no chick that's really mine. You understand what I'm saying? I'm I'm they're there and I enjoy them, and that's that. And that goes for my wife. That goes for my girlfriend. That goes for any chick I'm dealing with. You see what I'm saying? And so some guys will say, why? Well, why to get why get married or why have a girlfriend if that's the case? And I and I always say this. Is that, and this is where the, the the other part of the game uh, comes from, is that if you're if you're just thinking of a woman being your girl, and and your your wife or whatever in the context of just sex, you're you're thinking on a lower level of the game. So what I'm saying is is that when you have a girl who's your girl, right? Because women, and this is the thing. For example, people always say to me, "What's the point of being married?" Right? And you know what I say to them? I say, there is no point. There literally is no point for me to be married. 
But so why why would I get married? I agree with that. Right. There's literally no point. But but why do you? But well, this is what I want to ask you guys. Why do you think I would get married? And and I talked about this before. The reason why I would get married is because, in order for me to get a level of cooperation that I need from a woman to be involved in my purpose and what I'm doing, right? What I need to do is I need to placate to her ego, which doesn't really, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, but I'm just saying that, and I'm going to explain in a, in a little while so you get what I'm saying. I need to placate to her ego so that she'll be comfortable enough to do the things I need her to do. So for example, if you were working in my, like let's say for example, if, if, if you have a company, a business, right? And you and you say to this person, hey, I want you to be the vice president of this company, right? Let's say, for example, let's say, for example, they were working in the mailroom, right? Then they worked their way up and they ended up being a manager. And then they worked their way up to be the vice president of the company, right? <clears throat> let's say you said to that person, hey, listen, you're going to be the vice president of the company, but I'm not going to call you the vice president and I'm I'm not going to give you a vice president's office. I'm just going to have you in the mail room. I'm going to give you all of the, 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 the sheets and information you need and your phone. You're not even going to have a desk. You're just going to be in the back of the mail room answering calls and doing your work. But you're the vice president, though. Don't worry. You're the vice president. What's going to happen is because that person, even though they are the vice president, because you don't call them vice president and you don't give them a vice president's office, you understand what I'm saying? They're not going to do vice president work. So therefore, your company is not going to flourish because that person is not doing the vice president work, even though they're the vice president. So what do you got to do? You got to say, you know what? I'm going to call you vice president. I'm going to give you this nice vice president office. I'm going to set you up here so you can be known. At, I'm, I'm going to put it on the door. Vice president so-and-so on your office door. So now what happens is because their ego is filled they're going to do the work that a vice president needs to do in order to uh, build my company up. You see what I'm saying? But if I just had her in the mail room or I had the person in the mail room and, and said, yeah, you're the vice president, just stay over there. They're not going to do the type of work they need to do. So this is why when I talk about being in a relationship or getting married or having a girlfriend or wife in the context of this situation, it's more than just sex. And again, this goes back to what I said where the sex is really nothing, so it doesn't make a difference to me if you're having sex with this guy or not. The more important thing is, how are you in relation to my purpose? Okay, you so you, you, look at, you looking at it from like a business standpoint. Exactly, because, right, because All what right, people don't understand is relationships are business. That's what people don't get. That's what, see, people always think looking at the fucking and the love and the, oh, I love you. Bullshit. It's about how are we relating to each other? But but the thing with women is women like the labels. Women like the status and all that egoic shit. You know what I'm saying? All that ego stuff. Right. So in order to in order for them to get to in order for you to get a girl to cooperate like that, you have to give her a certain title. But you can't give her the title until she's worked for it. So again, like I I told people, like me and my me and my wife, we were together for seven years before I said, okay, I'm going to make you my wife because she earned it. Just like in a business, you got to be there for an extended amount of years, show and prove, and then I can give you the, the fucking um, office and the vice president. You see what I'm saying? I can, I can make you this because you've earned it. You see what I mean? And so in order, in, in, and so in order for me to get my uh, company or my purpose going down that direction, that's how it has to be done. So a lot of times guys will say, wow. oh, well, you don't have to, you don't have to, um, you know, uh, uh, get these girls and, and, and have a girlfriend. You could just fuck and, and, and I say, yeah, you just fuck, but all you're going to get is fucking. You see what I'm saying? So, Correct. right. So you, you're not going to, you're, you're, you're not going to get vice president, uh, uh, you know, work out of the chick if you are, if you just keep her in the mail room, you see what I'm saying? But she has to earn that. You can't just give her that. You see what I mean? So it's a whole process. So what happens is in order for me to get that level of cooperation, it has to be a give and take. So it's always a give and take. 
You see what I'm saying? So I even tell guys, even if you're in a monogamous relationship and you want a wife, she still has to, uh, uh, you know, show and prove that she's worth that title you're giving her as wife. You see what I'm saying? And so that's, that's what it is. But, but understand that the, the sex thing isn't really anything. So, for example, you ever notice how when women find out that their men fuck other chicks or their, their man cheats, that they'll kind of brush it under the rug and it's still fuck with the dude? You ever notice yeah. that? You ever notice that? Yeah. So the reason why is because the women know, yo, it's just fucking. But guess what? This motherfucker right here, he's providing and protecting. So, yeah, go fuck the chick. I don't give a fuck. Just make sure you bring the money home. Just make sure, you see what I'm saying? So they know. We're the idiots that keep thinking, oh, well, this girl over here, she she's fucking with this guy, so so I can't, do, you see what I'm saying? Like, we're the dumb yeah, ones. I think, and that's that's a lot, that's a, a problem with, like, a lot of guys in society. Like, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I, I'm one of them. Like, right. I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I keep it real. I'm one of those dudes, like, a lot of dudes are just mm. thinking with their dick. They're not that's what I'm saying. Like, your standpoint with, like, business that's what I'm saying. You see what I mean? And that's what I'm trying to explain to dudes. Because dudes is always like, oh, so you, you okay with your girl sleeping with some other dude? I'm like, nigga, first of all, you got to understand something. When, when you have a girl's mind, you understand? That's what makes a chick loyal. I mean, shout out to my dude, K Zag, and he did a, a video the other day talking about, I think, the difference between loyalty and cheating or something like that. He was saying that, you know, if you went to jail... Right? And and your girl stuck with you and, and you came out of jail maybe like even if it was just a year. If your girl stuck by you, that's loyalty. But don't expect her for that whole year to not fuck somebody else. Cause she she probably will. You see what I'm saying? Cause she has needs. She's a she's a human being just like you. So if you if if you go to jail and your girl stick by you, meaning let's say you went to jail for two, three years, you come back out, you can't get mad at her for fucking somebody within those two or three years, because that's going to happen. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So you're looking for the loyalty. The loyalty lies within everything. You understand? With everything else, it's not just the fucking. You understand what I'm saying? Because look, bro, let me tell you something. I've had sex with uh, 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 um, dudes' wives in front of the guy. Like they, I, they say, yo, can you fuck my wife? I'm like, cool. You feel what I'm saying? And so... These dudes, they just, they, they're just like whatever on some, on some, what, what they call it, cuckold or something? I don't know. Yeah, I, I can't get to that level. Right, so, <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Like, it's nothing. It's, it's whatever, you understand? But our, our mental and the way we think about sex in this, in this society, we have, we, we have a very weird relationship with sex in, 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 this, in this society. So the thing is, the thing is, is that, it could be any, cause like, look, if you say, if you say, if you say, look, if you say to your girl, hey, uh, we're going to go to dinner with my friend and his girlfriend, right? You'd be like, she'd be like, all right, cool. And you'd be like, all right, cool. But if you said to your girl, hey, listen, uh, uh, you know, me and you going to go over my friend and his girl house and my friend going to fuck you and I'm going to fuck his girl. Oh, now it's, 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 it's fucking crazy. You feel what I'm saying? Now it's a fucking issue. So you can have dinner with these motherfuckers, but you can't fuck. It's, it's that's what I'm saying. Like, dudes have a very uh, weird relationship to sex, and this is why all the jealousy. This is why all the weird shit comes in. This is why dudes can't, you know, get beyond that. You see what I'm saying? Facts. That's all. That's what it is. You know what I mean? So, so it's just it's just Facts. understanding those those things. You know what I'm saying? Kenwood Drive said that that dude must have been white. The dude that I. <laughs> Oh man, hilarious! But yo, but yo, I appreciate the game, man. Yeah, it, man. Yo, you definitely one of the best on on YouTube, man. Fuck appreciate all the haters. It. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate that, bro. I'm gonna let you later, man. All right, peace. all right, peace. Yeah, man. So yeah, I'm telling you, just certain certain cats though, they don't, they don't, you know, they don't understand certain things when it comes to this shit, man. I'm just trying to tell you guys, like, you you gotta look at shit from different angles, man. Different angles. So that you can, you know, elevate to higher heights. You feel what I'm saying? Man. Young Black King, he said, no doubt she human. I understand that, but it's still over. Ain't no cheating on me. <laughs> I feel you shit. Some dudes, it's just like, it ain't, you know. 
It ain't happening. Man. Shit, what time is it? Oh, shit, we going on two and a half hours at this motherfucker. We going on two and a half hours. Shit, hold on. Let me, let me check my, my phone real quick. Let me make sure. Man. Crazy. All right, let's go a little bit longer. Little, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Before I got to get out of here and uh, get some shit going. Man. But, um, but yeah, dude, you know, it, 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 the thing is with, with a lot of guys is, you know, shit isn't for everybody. You understand what I'm saying? Certain shits, it, it, shit ain't for everybody because a lot of shit, um, you know, certain cats aren't ready to hear or do or, or, and I'm not saying dude should be doing what I'm doing in that regard of what I'm doing. I'm just saying that, you know, um, there's, there's different ways to look at shit. You understand? And and so a lot of dudes, they don't understand certain things. And because they don't understand certain things, they're they're trapped in a certain way of thinking, which ultimately also affects your game overall. Freedom of speech, you said, why do all women want gift cards and money from you? That's because you're giving out that energy that you give out gift cards and money. You feel what I'm saying? There's something about you that makes a woman say, yo, I want some gift cards from you because you seem like the type that's going to support me with that. Um, you said, what happened to Sarah? She was fine as hell. What about Amita Zena? Um, yeah, shout out to Sarah. Sarah, she, she's doing a lot of stuff right now. She's real busy. So, you know, I got to hit her up and see what was popping with her. Um, Amita Zena, I got to see what's popping with her. She's doing her thing too. I might have, I'm a, I'm a, I'm supposed to be bringing, um, uh, what's her name? My, my, my homegirl Beatrice is supposed to be back here next week. And uh, Viola is going to come back next week. So I'm going to have those two on the, on the chat. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Man. You said, what about Vivi? Yeah, Vivi's coming through next, like, I think next week. She's coming through next week. Her and uh, Beatrice is coming through next week. So we'll, we'll do it. We'll do a live joint next week with, with, with those ladies Probably get some 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 uh some newer ladies coming through. That's the thing, yo. There be certain girls that I talk to, and I be trying to get them on these shits, and they be shy as hell, bro. They be shy as hell. Like I'll be out at these spots, and I'll be you know I'll be talking to some of these girls, and I'll be wanting to get them on camera at that moment. I say, yo, I want to put you on live right now, and they be like, no, 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 I don't want. You understand what I'm saying? So. I'm telling you guys, I'm out there. I'm out there trying to get it for y'all. You know what I'm saying? But um, I don't. I don't do that hitting camera shit. So I let the chicks know they on. So they got it. You know what I'm saying? You said bring back the white the white girl with the pretty smile. Which which white girl was that? You understand? Know Rockstock, you said please give me an answer. Answer to what? Would you ask? You could call in. Six four six four eight one three nine zero one. Six four six four eight one three nine zero one. Oh, you talking about she was tatted? You talking about Whitney? Oh yeah, I have to holler at Whitney. See what she up to. Freedom of speech. You said you don't give out that energy. Oh, you said they bought up the top. You said, but you said that chicks keep. Uh, you know, what did you say? You said, why do women want gift cards or money from me? So you're saying it as if that's like a, a, a you know, a, a reoccurring thing. You feel what I'm saying? Ken would drive. He said, how long I'm going to be on? Uh, I'm going to be on here until 6.30. So it's 6.30 my time, Eastern Standard Time. Because I know all y'all are, are in other time zones. But I'm going to rock out till 6.30. We can, we can get this popping. AQI, he said, because you're he's a gold digger's choice. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If you, because look, some girls they, they 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 feel, or there's a vibe you're giving, or something they see in you that makes them they okay. Yeah, I can probably get some money out this motherfucker. 
And if that keeps happening to you, right, you got to understand there could be something you're doing, something you're communicating, you know, when, when you're interacting with women that makes them think it's okay to, to, to even say that or come at you like that in most cases. You know what I'm saying? Enemies, if you say you like the, the joint with my, my sister and her boyfriend, yeah, that shit's funny. I'll, I'll probably have them come on here too again. You know what I'm saying? Man. Is it possible that, you're, that your ex reach out to you while you're in a relationship with a new chick? Hell yeah. Women do that shit all the time. They see you with a new girl, they want to be on some what's good, like how's it going and all that other dumb shit. Young Black King, you said this, this topic was confirmation for you. He was thinking about how you need to quit focusing on bullshit. Real talk. Real talk. Real talk. Shout out Gene Lewis was popping with you, bro. Chill it, chill E. So what's the team method? You forgot what that, that letter stand for? Well, I, I can't tell you what the team method is because I have it on my program, which is called, I think it's Reclaim the Game Dating Seminar. So I can't tell you because it's on that seminar. So you gotta buy that seminar at MrLocario.com to find out what the team method is so for, for all those that who don't know what the team method is that's basically a a, a, a a thing that I orchestrated of how to approach and pull chicks you understand so you know so you know check out the DVD it's called uh, Reclaim the Game New Dating Rules for Men you can uh, get that at MrLocario.com you feel what I'm saying? I'm here. What's probably said? Do I watch college football? Nah, I don't watch college football. Oh, this 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 Sunday Super Bowl Sunday, right? I'm like I'm like not into sports like that at all. So I don't you know. But I like the Super Bowl joints because of the commercials and the fucking parties and shit. That's all I really care about. <laughs> I tell you now, I I don't I don't watch football. I don't watch basketball like that. I just watch like the big games, you know what I'm saying? Like I remember I was I was with this chick one time. We were watching like I think it was Houston versus somebody and um we made a bet and I told I told her I told her if if I think I said if Houston wins um you got to you got to blow me and I said and I said if the other team wins I'll go down on her. You know what I'm <laughs> And this is a chick that, you know, I met off Tinder that I was hooking up with. Or that I was going to hook up with. So, you know, we were at a bar watching a game and shit. So, you know. So I'm like, man. Oh, yeah, the Houston won, though, that time. So I was I was good. So we, we got it popping. You know what I'm saying? We got it popping. We got it going. So yeah, that shit was, was crazy. It was good. It was good. Man. Oh, your screen name is hilarious. I'm here to fuck your wife. <laughs> hilarious. Let me see who this is. Yo, what's going on? Hey, I'm on the line. Yeah, what's poppin'? Who's this? Uh, this is Martin. I'm calling out. Uh, calling out. Uh, moves. What's going on with you, bro? Oh man, it's my first time calling. I just want to say I appreciate appreciate you laying the game out the way you've been doing it over the years, bro. That's what's up. That's what's up. So what's good with you? But yeah, um, I just wanted to know, like, how do you like, like, consistently get out there and you know. You know, get better at you know talking to these females. You know, mm. rain, sleet, or snow. You know, because mm. you know consistency. Consistency has been a big issue for me. You know, mm. sometimes I just don't feel like going out there and right. you know meeting females or just the mindset that it takes to be mm. consistent with the game. You know what I'm saying? 
Right. So. Well, well, this is this is. I'm glad you asked that question too because, um, really, what it is, is you have to have you you really have to have some sort of motivation to do it. You understand? And the and the thing that does it, the thing that uh, makes guys unmotivated to do it, which is ironic, is them just wanting to get pussy by any means necessary. You understand? So what happens is this, because this is this is what happens with most guys. There's a lot of guys who, um, you know, there's a lot of guys who they don't like chicks. And what I mean is, I'm not saying they don't like chicks like they don't want to fuck girls. I'm talking about they don't like women as people. You understand what I'm saying? And yeah. so, and so, that it's... Can be annoying. Right, right. So, you know, you're like, oh, these chicks is annoying. And yeah, chicks can be annoying and they could be on some bullshit. But the funny part is, you, you actually get more women if you, if you like women as people. You understand? I know it sounds corny, but if you, if you like mm-hmm. chicks as people, meaning that you actually like the company of women, you're going to get more women. And, and so, and, but this is, the, this is the key. You'll like the company of women if women are treating you like the type of guy that they are sexually attracted to. That's the key. You see what I'm saying? Because you could be dealing with a bunch of girls who they sort of friend zone you or they play games with you, which is going to make you more frustrated. You see what I'm saying? And so the, the, what's going to keep you going out there and, and, and keeping it going and wanting to, to make something happen and, and put in that effort is you have to, you know, first, if you're not already motivated, you have to sort of push yourself to go out there and do it. You got to really push yourself. Then once you push yourself, what's going to happen is you'll end up, if you're really doing this correctly, if you're actually pushing yourself, like you actually say, you know what, I'm going to, like even if you start out small, you say, okay, every Friday night i'm gonna go out for the next three or four months every friday i'm gonna go out and just talk to women you understand and so you do that consistently so as you're doing that what you're going to notice is yeah there's going to be some girls that's going to annoy you there's going to be some girls that's going to be on some bullshit but you're going to run into some girls who are cool as hell you're going to run into some girls who you're attracted to who are also attracted to you right so right so what happens is is that right so those girls you're, you're going to have some sort of fun with them. You understand what I'm saying? And and so what you need to do is you need to focus. Again, it's the focus thing. You need to focus more on girls who are like those girls. You understand? Girls who have that same energy. Because then that's going to motivate you to talk to more girls to find those other types of girls. You see what I'm saying? So this is why I said earlier in the in the show, earlier I said, sometimes on purpose, I won't fuck a girl. And sometimes I will put myself in situations where I don't have time to have sex with her. And all I have time to do is hang out with her. And so what I mean is, and when I say that, that thing where I say I don't have time to, is like, let's say I had uh, a, coaching, a coaching session at 4 o'clock, right? Because I have the coaching session at 4 o'clock, I'll set a date with a girl at like maybe 2. And then so I'll you know hang out with her for like an hour, hour and a half, and then come back to my coaching session. So I set it up to where... I know I'm not going to be able to fuck her that day. Now, the reason why I do that and also the reason why I turn down some pussy is because what happens is, is that I'm training my mind to like the chick as a person. You understand what I'm saying? Which in turn, right? Which in turn, when I look at it that way, which in turn gives me more situations where when I'm interacting with girls... I'm interacting with them with the energy that I actually like them. You see what I'm saying? See, what, what happens with most girls, the reason why they don't open up to guys or the reason why they don't want to have sex with you quickly or the reason why um, they're not really connected with most dudes is because they get the feeling that certain guys just want to fuck. And it's not wrong with just wanting to fuck, but what I mean is just wanting to fuck but not really liking them. You understand what I'm saying? And so when they're interacting with you and they, they can tell that you're just a, ch- a chill guy, that makes more women want to fuck with you because you actually like them. And therefore, since you like them, the motivation to talk to more is easier. You understand what I'm saying? So if you have a guy who just is so annoyed with talking to women, 
They, you know, he can't stand talking to girls. And you have a, another guy who actually likes talking to girls because he likes being around women. The guy who likes being around women and likes talking to women, he's always going to get more women than the other guy. Always, hands down. You understand? And so it builds upon itself. Since he's getting more women, him getting the women means what? They're cooperating with him. Means what? They're having sex with him. Means what? They're treating him good. Which makes him like them more. The other guy, he can't stand these chicks. He's like, what are some tricks and tips? What are some gimmicky things that I can do to get her to fuck me? You know, what are some... Can I? Should I lie to her? Should I do this? Should I do manipulate her? So you're doing all these tricks and gimmicks. And when she doesn't want to fuck you... You're mad at her more. You're like, man, fuck these bitches, man. They mad, you know, blah, 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 right? So that gets you into a spiral of, like, negativity, and you're like, you know, so it makes it even harder for you to actually connect and fucking get shit popping with the girl. So this is why I'm saying, because you're asking what's going to motivate you, what's going to get you out there, you got to push yeah, yourself, and, and you, you have to, say, like, right, and you, you have to, make, right, and you have to get yourself to a point where you like them. Out, you know? It should be about, you know, you and having a good time, but, mm -hmm. you know, how do you find that common medium, of, you know, you know, not getting too annoyed with them mm -hmm. and, you know, still maintaining, you know, your mm -hmm. cool. Even right. Well, and, and also, like, too, you are. <laughs> right. And also, too, the thing is this, um, the girls who annoy yeah. you and the girls who want some bullshit, you give them mm -hmm. the least amount of attention. Like, so as soon as you see that a girl's being super annoying or super uncooperative, we're right. done. I ain't got to talk to you no more. We're done. Let me go to the next girl. You understand? Because, and, and, and so what you got to understand is most girls, and this is, this is the key right here. This is the fucking key. The reason why a lot of guys have the experience of saying, yo, all these girls out here is bullshit. They're whack. They suck. You know, I'm going MGTOW, whatever, whatever, right? The reason why most guys have that experience or feel that way is because again they're starting from the situation of not liking chicks so therefore the experience or the the, the reaction they're getting is hostility the reaction they're getting is game playing most of the time 90 percent of the time so therefore it's a continuous cycle so they get with these girls the girls manipulate them they play games they'll be on some bullshit and then the guys is like, man, fuck these bitches, fuck these bitches. But these same guys, they want to fuck. So then they keep going back out there and trying to find tricks and tips on, on how to fuck the girl. So they'll fuck a girl here and there, but it's such a frustration and an annoyance, they don't have the energy or the motivation to do it. You see what I'm saying? And so yeah. this is the thing where once you start dealing with women, because the thing with me... I'd say like 85 to 90% of the chicks that I deal with that I actually take seriously and fuck with, super cooperative, uh, have, you know, have sex with me. The sex is great. They're, they're, they're sexy and sh as shit, right? Um, they're, they're, they're polite. They're nice. You understand what I'm saying? So my perspective on women is different because I'm able to interact with chicks in that way. So even like I said... When I'm in that zone where I feel like, damn, you know, this this chick's over here so fucking annoying or whatever, whatever, like that, or I have that say, I'm going down that path. I might even just chill and talk with a girl at a party, just talking to her, just on some regular shit, and get that energy up, like, yo, that that chick was super cool. She was mad cool, mad chill, whatever. You know, I I got her number. I might hit her up or whatever. You understand? Because I gotta have that energy of actually liking them. That's the key, dudes. Part of why most of these guys can't really fuck with chicks because they don't like them. You see what I'm saying? Liking a girl or liking women in general, you understand? Is is very uh, 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 is it's a very integral part of being advanced in the game. You understand? And, and again, there's gonna be girls who are gonna annoy you. There's gonna be girls who are gonna be on some bullshit. And and of course, it's it's a lot of shit. It's female nature. That is there, but the guys who like women, they sort of accept it, meaning they say, well, if this chick is on some bullshit, I'm just not going to fuck with her. And, that, and they leave it at that. They don't complain about her. They don't talk to their friends about her too much. They don't go online and make a hundred videos about how bitches ain't shit. They don't do none of that shit. They just keep it moving yeah. to the girl keep moving. right? Who's who they see is giving them that energy that's going to give them that perspective of... The guy who's on point. Because if you notice, let's let's talk about women real quick. 
Notice how the women who have men, who have boyfriends, don't talk too much shit about men. Who usually talks a lot of shit about men? Single women. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You notice that, right? Exactly. And that's that's what I'm yeah. saying. So women who, who, who are in relationships, who are in good relationships, you don't usually hear them talking a bunch of shit about dudes. You understand? Like, you have ones here and there that do it, but usually they don't. You see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, they're usually bitter about, you know... Exactly. Ex broke up and knocked them up and left them home. Right, exactly, them. right. And so and so they bring that same energy to you, and you're like, God damn, this chick is the worst. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah. And so you end up not wanting to fuck with her. You see what I mean? But imagine you had a chick who was very polite, pleasant, you know, she was submissive, she, she respected you as a man... You're more likely to take her seriously and actually want to fuck with her versus the other girl, right? Same thing. Uh, yeah. The 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 like energy attracts the like energy. So the same thing happens if you're on that man. Fuck these hoes and fuck these bitches and oh these bitches ain't shit. Blah blah blah. You're just gonna get a bunch of chicks who ain't shit that's gonna be fucking with you and it's gonna reconfirm your belief about bitches ain't shit. That's it. You all see right. what I'm saying? Yeah. That's all it is, yeah. bro. I have one more question, like, you yeah, know, assuming, like, you find the chick, like, assuming that I find the chick that I'm digging and I'm I'm vibing with or whatnot, mm. and the energy is, energy is cool, mm. you know, she might send me through a few uh, shit tests here and there, mm. how do I, like, how do I, like, avoid, because I feel like I run into the issue of uh, the boyfriend uh, uh, energy, mm. you know, how do I can, you know, how do mm. I keep that at bay without, you know, mm. showing too much, you know, in, in energy by calling her or staying on the phone with her for mm. so many hours and stuff. Right. So this is basically it. Um, to, to avoid that boyfriend energy type of situation, it's mm. really it's really just about giving her um, the least amount of attention. And then when you do give her attention, it's 95% sexual. You understand? So even if... So, so what's going to happen is she may designate you again, to try to get you in that boyfriend category. You understand? So this this is where you'll probably be hanging with a girl and you're trying to get sexual. You might be trying to hit it, right? And then she's going to say, oh, you know, I'm not like that. I, I got to wait. I got to get to know you. You know, that type of shit, right? So, yeah, so it's... Well. Right, exactly. So what you need to do is don't try to get to know her. You understand what I'm saying? You give her the option to get back to you when she's ready to have sex. You understand? So that's all you do. So you say, hey, you have my number. Holler at me when you're ready to have... Because, you know, I want to hook up with you. I'm extremely attracted to you. I want to get you naked. I want to fuck the shit out you. I want to, you know, get you wet. I want to do all of this shit to you. You understand? And so it's like, look, I'm being honest. This is what I want. Now, when you're ready to do this with me, call me. You understand? And, I, and you just leave it at that. Then you don't call her, you don't hit her up, you just move on to the next girl. And then every new girl you're dealing with, just keep with the sexual energy because the ones who want to fuck you, they're going to because you're giving off the sexual energy. Remember, women follow men. So they're going to follow the energy you're putting out. So if you're putting out sexual energy, they're going to follow it to the point where they're going to have sex with you or they're going to follow it to the point where they're going to be resistant. And then once you see that resistance, you say, well, listen, you know, you know, it's all good. All I'm going to tell you is, hey, look, you got my number. Holler at me when you're ready to, to, to make this happen. And so the more you do that, the more used to you get, the more that you get used to being the guy. You build up confidence. Right, exactly. You get used to being that guy that's giving out sexual energy. Because what happens is the reason why it keeps getting into the boyfriend category is because you, you might be, and most guys do this, you might be falling into her frame. Meaning, she says oh, I want to get to know you more. Then you'd be like, okay, cool. Let's get to know each other more. Let's go on three or four more dates. She's like, oh, let's take it slow. You're like, okay, cool. Let's take it slow. You know what I'm saying? And you you, you spend a yeah. whole bunch of time on the phone with her doing all this other bullshit. No, you have to right, get right. her into your frame. Your frame is, I want to have sex with you. I want to hook up with you. So whenever you're ready to do that, holler at your boy. That's it. All right. That's it, yeah. man. You feel me? Okay. Yeah, yeah man. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate yeah, man. that a lot, man. You laying out, laying down the game like that, because you know that just just be kind of like awkward, you 
know, dealing mm. with her response of me and like, you know, mm. let's take it slow or what you said about, you know. Right, and, and look, and don't don't be afraid to lose the girl. That's the problem. A lot of guys are afraid to lose chicks. Right, right. Don't be afraid. It's, right, it's, right. It's, it's Look, let me tell you guys something. It's better to have no chick than to be dealing with a chick who's going to play games and be on some bullshit. I'm telling you. Don't don't be afraid to. I don't care how how much time and it's the thing you shouldn't be spending too much time invested in a girl. But if you did spend a, like let's say you went on two or three dates and you're like shit, but I already spent two or three dates with her. I gotta keep going. No, listen, yeah. charge that chick if she ain't really trying to make nothing happen. You understand? Right. And just start over with right. a new chick. And then the next time, don't go on three or four dates. Just go on that one time. Maybe you could go to get a drink real quick. And then if you don't fuck her that night. The next time y'all see each other, we got we got to go in and in, in, in get sex. We got to get sexual. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is, bro. All right, all right I bro. Appreciate that. All right, appreciate better that. All right, man. All right, man. Peace. Later. Peace. All right, man. It is six thirty, almost three hours in this motherfucker. Shit. All right, so listen, guys. I'm about to head up out of here. Make sure you get how to have sex with two women a day ebook, card copy, audio book. Make sure you guys get that. Bam. Right there. All right. Um, also, make sure you guys get the 60-second game book. You can click the link below to get 60-second game. Get the the um, the ebook. That shit is fire. Um, also, make sure you guys click the link below to get the Man to Fuck Up hoodies. Make sure you guys get those. Um, what else? Um... Also, make sure you guys go to Patreon, patreon.com slash Mr. Locario. And also make sure you guys go to patreon.com slash The Confidence Show. So I want all you guys to check out The Confidence Show. Let me leave that in the in the uh, description. Hold on. I'm gonna go, this, this is the Patreon shit, patreon.com slash The Confidence Show. Make sure you guys check that out and subscribe to that. You feel what I'm saying? Let me shout out to all the people in the chat. Shout out to uh, Jedi James. Oh, you, you say you just came through, man? Yeah, we about to wrap it up, bro. Valentine, shout out to you. Lorenzo, um, I'm here. Martin79934. John H. Dax F. Moving in silence. Lil, Lil G Man. <laughs> O'Milly. Nathan Wong, Carlos Castillo, who else? Um, Stanley, Jake C. 3D, Von D. Gaming, Heathen Deluxe, Jean Lewis, Rockstock, It's Akuma, T.55, Freedom of Speech. Man, he had some, a lot of people have been enemies defeated. Dax F, Dax F. Who else? AQI, King Me, Darrell S, Elite Empire, Can We Drive, Ernest J, K Zagan was in a building, Moving in Silence, who else? Resilient SD, Cold Lobo, Richard Brown, what up? KP Max, <clears throat> my, you're losing my voice and shit. Tanner Williams, Banana Bro, The Alpha, uh, Richard Brown, I think I said you already, but yeah, man, I appreciate everybody tuning in, I will be back, um, maybe Monday, I might do a joint Monday, but I will definitely let you guys know, all right, so you guys, you have a good rest of your weekend, and I'll holler at you later, remember, the truth is inside you, peace, I'm gone.